Facts are facts, buddy. Look, I'm not here to attack you, Parker, but uh, you voted for a racist there, buddy. Oh, my God, bro. Again, and both you candidates are. you support a racist, bro. You I don't support, support either racist. candidate, but yeah. both of them, no, yes, both you of do. them would fit under the you, definition. Wait a minute. You voted for the guy, right? Again, I, voting doesn't necessarily me, indicate me, that you support, Parker, but if you think this. that that what, indicates what support, what? I did. Appreciate the little crown. Pre Look, appreciate what, the boxing what, 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 sold you. You, what sold you on, on Biden? Let me see. Um, federal judges, like the composition of the of like federal courts, um, like Supreme Court nominations, and then also like state and like uh, local ones and whatnot in terms of like uh, appointing judges. A huge, really huge point. Uh, the types of policy in terms of like uh, pushes towards like universal health care type systems, um, like uh, holding on to like Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid, other things like that um, and whatnot along with um, like access to like broader sense of education, whether it be like uh, Biden's plan for like two year education um, and stuff like that. So moving the Overton window towards all right, a more progressive based system. Um, those would be just Here. like the very base points, right? I could mention others. But what about what about this? How about when Joe Biden took some of Trump's ideas and tried to repackage them as his own? How about that? Thank you for the crown. I appreciate it. Do you want to talk about politics or do you want to talk about the topic? We could talk about whatever you want. I already told you. If you want to come on for politics, community. I can I can have you come listen, on another time when listen, we do that politics part. Got, but we can talk about this now. I already, if you'd like. I would, okay, I already told you my stance on the gay community. I I know people that are gay. I don't mistreat them. I know someone that's transgender. I used to get along just fine with them. I have no to? issue with them, but I am not their cheerleader. I'm not gonna sit there and call them whatever they want to be called. I knew this transgender guy that I knew. Wait, I used wait, to be come like, hey, what's on. Up, no, bro? no, 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 listen, don't. Listen, no, don't. Listen, no, no, listen. No, no, listen. no, 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 no I'm not. What? No, stop, bro. What? Like, what? what? Is, like, why? Why would you purposefully be disrespectful like that? I appreciate the little ground. Thank you so much. Why? You know like, why? Like, hey, like if I used your name incorrectly, or listen, if I used your pronouns listen, incorrectly, you'd be so you, sad, you know, right? If I, if everyone, Parker, everyone in the chat's gonna just start calling you her, would you, would you like that? Parker, you know what's amazing to me, is that you're offended yet he wasn't. You guys, you know what? You guys are the same people that are, cry with, are about they, racism. Are they a trans woman? You know what? He never said, call me Susie. Are they, are they a trans woman? His, are they a trans woman? He, he was a dude dressing like a woman. Okay, so a trans okay. woman, right? You, what and you I think was, is a, I was what you think with, is a dude. No, listen, right? Again, the, the whole idea of what we consider to be like what a am man I supposed to call and him? a woman are, is going to be related to like the social and cultural norms that are typically associated with the sexes. Right, the roles, Bro. the expectations we have, right? the different ways that like our bodies look, like things that we would attribute with like feminine Bro. and masculine characteristics, right, Bro. and our commitments to those. What? So like a desire Wait. to be in accordance with these sets of characteristics. Parker. Right? So when someone Parker. says that they're a woman Parker. and is referring to it within that context, Parker. there's nothing incoherent he... about it. Listen. It makes total Listen. sense. There's no Listen. issue there. Listen, he never told me to call him anything other than his name. Yeah, so why are you continuing to again misuse their pronouns when you know that why? particularly let me, let me ask they you would this. have particular why? preferred let pronouns? Me, Parker, right? Parker, like the same so way that like you problem. would be like misusing Parker, someone's name. Parker, why are you offended for someone that wasn't offended? No, no, I'm not offended. I'm just asking you basic questions. You know what, Parker? If he would have came to me and said, "Hey, uh, Hector, my name's Hector." No, no, no. Again, can again, you why, can me, you just answer can you my questions? Me? Why, why are you wait, still wait, wait. using this type of terminology, knowing that it's not like what they would want, again, given that you would accept it Parker, when it relates to, say, an am individual's I, wait name? Wait a minute. Am I supposed to guess what he wants me to call him? You, you don't need to guess. They, they so if I call him, so if I... So right, actually, I but like generally speaking, people do guess, Parker, like we assume. Parker, Parker, so if I, so then you want me to assume his gender? Um, I, I think that you're already doing it incorrectly, right? So I think that you need to minute. respect what they tell Parker, you, right? So you're telling seems me seems like he your never intuitions are probably me. not reliable. He never told me, Parker. He never told me to call him anything. Matter of fact, I think if I would have so, called again, him something other than if what you consider I that him, I... if you consider that they're a trans woman, right, and they have expressed their their preferred pronouns, right, you should respect that, Parker. Right? He Do never agree? told me to call him any preferred pronoun. I knew him when he was still a, a a regular boy, right? We could say, when I, when he did whatever transition he did, I didn't treat him any different, right? He would come pick me up sometimes and have to drive me to go pick up the work van. I never said, "Hey, what are you wearing?" or "What the fuck is that?" 
I treated him like I used to treat him when I met him. So, we so, I, okay, I, so I'm going to be why real, right? Why are you right? offended for someone that's not offended? I'm, I don't know why you're, you're using it in a context in which I'm offended. I'm just oh calling out God. the issues, right? And I Parker. think that whenever I call out the issues, you get extraordinarily defensive and you immediately what try to What are you talking about, and... Parker? Parker, you know Bro, what, like... you know what kind of person, you know what, you're the kind of person that America doesn't like. You're the kind of person that, okay. you know, you try to defend and do this. Oh, I got black friends. I love black people. But really deep down inside, you're probably I, I'm, I don't think it's good to tokenize. I don't you're think it's good to tokenize. You're some of the most racist people out there. What do you, you think I'm racist? I think you high. I think you really are. I think a lot of you liberals are deep down inside some of the most racist people in America. What, what makes you think and I'm you racist? you hide behind this, oh, we love everybody bullshit. It's not true. What I makes think you, some of you guys are. What makes you Parker, think that I'm racist? How are you, how are you going to tell me? That I offended someone that never was offended by me. Matter of fact, I saw again. I'm just saying. Time. I'm just saying. Like all I said is that you should use the preferred pronouns in which an individual has, Parker, and you're like what baby preferred? raging. Okay, Parker, can you tell me can what you tell preferred me? pronoun? What preferred again, pronoun? He never gave me one. Typically so speaking, when someone is a gender? trans woman, their preferred pronouns would gender? be she, her, Parker. or like she, that. Parker. Right. Parker. So you wanted me to assume his his pronouns. Um, well, again, is it that what you guys are against? Again, again, no, I'm, I'm not against like, uh, like an assumption, right? But like, what the thing is, that when they tell you what, what it is, if you are wrong, right, you have to, you Parker. should respect that, right? Parker, he never told me anything. He wasn't sensitive like you guys. He was just himself. So we, again, and I treated him knowing, as himself. Knowing, I used knowing, to be like, hey, what's knowing, up, bro? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Knowing that they're a trans woman, you know, typically speaking, a trans woman's going to go based upon these particular set of pronouns. Again, why wouldn't you use that? Like that, that just Parker. like, yeah, I Parker. feel like you're, 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 you're like literally Parker. trying to be dense. Like you're actually legitimately trying you know, to be dense. You know, you know, Parker, Parker, this was before all you weirdos with this mental gymnastics took over. And what do you mean mental gymnastics? There's no mental gymnastics. I mean, this here. is Parker. Just because you guys want to play dress up or play make believe, and you guys want everybody to do it. I mean, simply look at this. Now we're entertaining kids that want to be identified as furries. So we're gonna set up litter what are you boxes talking in about? the fucking restroom who's so they can that? shit in the restroom. Who's doing Parker, that? Who's it happened doing in Detroit. That? It happened please in Detroit. Please send me. Please send me the source. No, you can look it up in Detroit. It happened in the Detroit Just school please system. Please send it to me, dude. There was a kid that identified wanted to identify as a furry because now that's a fucking thing. So they had to set up a litter box for this dude, dude, shit that's, that's not, in the that's litter not, box. Dude. And the poor, no. fucking, the poor fucking janitor had Bro, to clean up human you understand. shit there's a, there's, out of a, a fucking total litter box. Hold on, man. I want you to chill. There's a total distinction between what we would consider in terms of like the roles and expectations typically associated with the sexes and like how these roles are fulfilled in society oh, right? and, and associating that with different types of characteristics of other types of species. Right, because other types of species don't have the same types of social and cultural norms that we could associate ourselves with, right? Parker, that, that, that's not a coherent never, concept Parker, that we could attribute Parker, characteristics to. Whereas when Parker, we're relating to the context of gender, listen, right, it's going to be listen, able to make sense to us, right, because we have a system of social and cultural norms, right, that we could actually Parker, associate ourselves with. Parker, you know all this mumbo jumbo talking and walking in circles doesn't do anything, right? Like, like, I'm, I'm not mumbo jumbling right now. Parker, you're going in circles for something that never happened. He was never offended by anything that I ever said because I never treated okay, him. Okay, okay. Can, any you, can you give me, can you give me, a, can you give me an argument, right? Because you doing this, there's going to be absolutely new. You're not even listening. Can you just give me an argument that relates to the topic, please? Why is being gay wrong? Yeah, yeah. Why do you think it's wrong? Okay, so. I, I never said being gay was wrong. I said I don't have to cheerlead their movement. I don't have to what, agree what do you, with it. What do you mean? So you don't think you don't think it's wrong for people to engage in gay intercourse? Hold on, say it again. You don't think it's wrong for people to engage in gay intercourse? Listen. What oh, he just got community guidelined, everyone. All right, we're gonna go to the next person. Yeah, yeah. I don't think TikTok likes him. We're gonna go to the next person, everyone. Only send a guest request if you disagree. Everyone, tap that screen. Let's try to get to two hundred fifty thousand likes. Everyone, share the live. Copy link. Send to a few friends. Everyone. Yo, what's up? How old are you? Hey, I'm 25. For sure. Do you think being gay is wrong or moral? Well, I think it's unmorally because of how I was taught growing up, pretty much. I believe in the Bible and what the Bible says. So you do think that it's wrong? I don't think. Yeah, I do. 
Okay, so so how do you know the Bible is accurate in prescribing to us what's right and wrong about morality? I guess I don't, but if morally, you know what's right and wrong morally, and that, that just feels unnatural. It feels wrong. And so you don't have a justification for it, and then you say it feels wrong, but there are many gay people that feel like it's very right. What's so what's your point? What's your point? Okay, there's people that think thieving is okay. You know, thieving is not even okay, anymore. There's people. He just got a call. You can you can send a guest request back. We're gonna go to the next person in the meantime. Everyone tap that screen. Let's try to get to two hundred fifty thousand likes. Everyone, yo, what's up? How old are you? What's up, Parker? Yeah, how old are you? Yeah, I'm fifty. For sure. Do you think that being gay is wrong or immoral? I think it. I was raised that it was immoral and against God. That's the way I was. That's the way I grew up. And when it, believe, remember when I say I'm I'm fifty, when I was a lot younger. You couldn't find a gay couple walking on the street. You couldn't find them on do, TV. Do you think it's wrong right now? Even more so, yes, now. Why because do you think it's, it's wrong direct, now? Because it's a direct defy of God. If God said it's an abomination, why would we prance out and do it on TV? Why would we prance out in the streets and do it? Why? Yeah, so how do you know that God exists in order to proclaim that God has this particular desire? Because if it was written, the things that are happening now on earth that was written two, three thousand years ago are coming, are being foretold. Why do we not think they're, why do we what not think it's not true? I'm sorry? What particular things? Um, the war, Israel, Israel's the land. Um, what else you want to know? Uh, uh, everything, everything that in the word of God. There everything being a war? Made, like you understand that wars happen throughout the context of all history. Can you? I don't know why a war happening would be something that is like not gonna happen. Insofar as that Parker, this indicates that there has to be a god. Parker, I hear what you're saying, brother. But you got to remember, man. You got to remember things happen. You're right, right? You, things happen, but you got to understand if this was wrong in the '70s and '60s, nobody was doing it. Now all of a sudden they're doing it, and it's cool. It's fancy. It's hot. Girls are trying it. Men are trying it. It's it's fancy. It's, What's fa it's, I'm so confused. What you mean by fancy? Being homosexual like, is fancy. Like, like it's it's, it's, like it's considered it's considered more acceptable in society. I don't know. I don't know what you mean by fancy. It's not like a trend to be gay. That's not how it works. Well, I I've asked. Well, not asked, but I've talked to girls, and I've even asked girls, "Have you been with a woman?" They say, "Oh, I tried it. Didn't like it. I've tried it." People try it. This is something. Yeah, yeah there are not... some people that try and don't like. I'm confused. What's the point? Like, there are some people that try particular foods and don't like them. What's your point? Yeah, this is true, but to me, it's wrong. It's just morally wrong, and you got to understand that most Why people won't accept it. Wrong. They won't accept it. You don't okay, want to so accept. Okay, so you relate it to the Bible. How do we know that the Bible is accurate in prescribing to us that it's wrong? Because it was made, created. The words were created by the Almighty who created. How do you Earth. know that? How? Because it was written. Yeah, there are many things. It's written in the Quran that Jesus didn't get crucified on the cross. Does that mean Jesus really, didn't get crucified get on off. the cross? I hear you, Parker. I hear you. I don't want to get off on religion because it's a good conversation. I don't want to get off on religion. But you can't say to something about the Quran was that was written 600 years after the Bible. 600 years after the Bible. And we know the Quran is totally wrong. So wait, well, you consider it totally wrong, right? You can give an argument, but when I relate to this, all I'm saying is that the same justification that you just used for the Bible also exists within the Quran. It's just a claim in a book, right? Just because there's a claim in a book doesn't mean you think it's accurate. There are claims in books that say that God doesn't exist. That doesn't mean it's accurate, right? You'd have to have a process to differentiate between the different claims to say this claim is acceptable, this claim is not acceptable. Did you ever go to church? When oh, yes, you were I did. raised? You did? Christianity, or do you mm -hmm. hear the disclaim? Was it Christianity? Christianity? Yep, Christian. Did you read the Bible? I read most of it. Yeah. How did you? How do you feel about it, Parker? How do you feel about it? Um, Is it I, just I, a book? Yeah. Now, if Jesus were to come come down now, I just want to ask you this question: How do you feel like because his words are it's an abomination, homosexuality? If he came back and to judge you, how do you think? Where do you think you would go? How does your soul rest? Personally, be, be real. How do you feel? Uh, given given the one from the Bible 
or if a god had those characteristics. So how do you, you should have answered my question. How do you feel you, are you going to heaven or hell? Or do you feel like your soul is safe with God because you're doing something? It, it depends that on the denomination. It, that's correct, right? There are some denominations that say I'm saved. Okay. So even if you disrespect God's words, you feel like yep, you're saved. Yeah, there are some, some denominations do say I'm saved. That's pretty scary, man. But hey, if you feel that way, I, f I feel you. And remember, I'm a, yeah, I'm a that's cool not going to happen because the, the belief entails contradictions, right? But there are okay. some Christian beliefs that do entail that I'm saved. Okay, brother. If that's the way you feel, I disagree. But like I just said, man, hey. Yeah, but like, what's to say that your 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 belief would be better than mine? There. It's the same way that that um, you know, people used to put why Jesus is in church, pictures of Jesus in church. They were wrong. I didn't know any better because I was a child. But you have to read the Bible and you get your words in the Bible on exactly what Jesus looks like. Yeah, but like how you interpret the scriptures can be different. And who's to say one interpretation is better than the other, right? If someone interprets the scriptures to say that I'm saved as an atheist, right, because of me being Christian or because someone in, even in my past ancestry was Christian or someone in my family was Christian, right? So you're... Some of that would save me as I've heard again in many claims, right? That, that that's, that's what some Christians believe. Who's to say that your interpretation of scripture is better than theirs? Because my words, are, because the words that I got it from the Bible are true. The book's been around for again, but I'm talking about how you years. interpret those words. I mean, people, you're right. People can interpret it any way they want to, to justify their narrative. Correct. Ex exactly. And like, who's to say <laughs> that, who's to say that their interpretation or your interpretation is better? Because I tell you what, if Jesus were to say, if the words were, um, homosexuality is okay. Homosexuality, you can get into the gates of heaven by being a homosexual as long as you as long as you trust in the word in the lord's words if he said that i would agree Did that's actually what that's said? actually already what said like hey, do you lie do i what do you lie do i lie yeah when i was younger i did but now i did there's no reason to so you are no. a liar so you're a liar i um, don't lie no I but you lie. but you are you were a liar so like you don't do it anymore are you do you send it all anymore no I don't fornicate no anymore. I, I try not to. I don't fornicate. I try don't not steal. To. No, no, have you I sinned rob. at all? I don't rob. And have like, you sinned at all in the past year? No. no not no, a single no, 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 no. God forgive me. Yes, I have. You just did. <laughs> I did. Yeah, I mean, you know what? I'm human. And you know what? We're born, this, we're born in a sinless world. I mean, in a sin world. This world is full of sin. So yeah. Of okay. Course. So the, no, the point I'm getting to, the point I'm getting to is that again, if someone is gay and they're engaging in what you would consider yeah. to be a sin, and gay in okay. is a sin, right? I that's the saying. same as you engaging in that. If you right. can be saved, they can be saved too, as long as they do the same things that you do, like in terms of a religious setting, right? Because again, all of y'all are sinners. All sin is bad. You're right, Parker. All sin is bad. All sin is bad. But you know what the yeah. I have sinned, but I'm just saying, man, I try to be sinless every day. I try, man. It's hard. But I'm not sitting here saying, oh, you know, only homosexuals are bad. No, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying it's hard not to sin. We're born in a sin full of a world of sin. We're born in it. But, but the thing is, right, under your own belief, at least look at it from this way, you're no mm -hmm. different from the person who's gay under your own belief. Literally no, no different. No way. No way, because I'm not directly defying God on purpose. If you go, wait, to, you just go, wait, wait, wait. You just did though. No, no, right, and I, you do do sin, that sometimes. If I, so if you, know you do that sometimes, okay, right, call, and they you do that call sometimes. Me who's to say you that wanna... you're different? Like Jesus literally says to not be hypocritical, right? True, absolutely. Now sometimes if I sin, okay, if I curse, okay, that's not a huge sin, but it's still sin. Cursing is still, you know, you're using words that you shouldn't be using. Right. That's the type of sin I'm talking about. But I'm not going out and doing a sin that I know this is directly defying God and I'm still going to get away with it. No, no. But we're not perfect. But I'm just saying this. You're right. All sin is bad. And I, I look at it like this. But for me, what the question is, uh, homosexuality totally is immoral to me in this day and age. And it's always been.
It's always good. Yeah, yeah. So, so again, right? We we don't have a justification for the religious aspect of this claim, though, right? Like, it seems like this claim is the same as any other religious perspective or any other belief in general, as it's just a faith claim. It seems. Well, to me, it's 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 all about in this day and age, going to heaven or going to hell, and you know about it more is just as much as I do because you were raised in or you grew up in church just like me, and you learned the the ways of sinning and not sinning. I mean, what's going to happen to you when you do sin? So people who do sin, like I'm but saying, I know, I know it's not going to happen to me because I know that this belief entails contradictions. Okay, that's that's the harsh reality of it. Is that it sells a great idea of there being some great life that everyone goes to when you die, where everything is better than it is here, right? And by selling that right to you, it gets you to do these particular things or act in particular ways, and that's why it's been used throughout history to be able to. Uh, control people, like legitimately speaking, right? I'm not saying right now you're being controlled, right? Even though I might think that within respects, what I'm saying is that, again, the idea is that it, throughout history, it's been used with the with the idea of control. And if we have some sort of belief without actually having the ability to say this claim is better than the other based upon this idea of evidence, and we don't differentiate between the claims on that, right? You're you are just as subject to being deceived by someone as you are uh, for someone telling the truth. Right, because you don't know whether or not it's deception. You don't know whether or not they're lying. You don't know whether or not this is an accurate claim because you just decided to believe them off of nothing. I think just people just misscrew the truth because they're scared of of the truth and to live a cleaner. They think they can live how they want to live in life and get away. I'm not with scared it. of the truth. I'm finding the truth. I, if anything, I think that the people who are scared of the truth are the ones that want to feel good and they believe in religion because they want to feel good on that basis. And a lot of people are scared of questioning their own belief system. Yeah, somebody one of your one of your right uh, people followers just wrote that uh, or religion is used by the Satan to. I don't know what they said, but it was pretty crazy. It was really crazy, man. But anyway, it's good talking to you, man. I hope that you find. I mean, you seem like you're pretty comfortable in your truth, and God bless you, man. I just wanted to tell you how I felt about it, and you want to call her, so. You know, right. thank you for taking appreciate the time. Appreciate coming uh, on. No, thank you so appreciate much. it, Parker. Thank you, man. All right, we're going to go on to the next person. If you like the content, follow me. If you haven't already, keep tapping that screen. Everyone, let's try to get to 250,000 likes. We got like a 10-minute timeout, but we're back, everyone. So we're going to keep running up the live, everyone. Share the, share the live, everyone. Copy link, send it to a few friends. Kelly, I appreciate the, the Venmo. Sujin, I appreciate the Venmo. Thank you so much. And Lori, and I appreciate the Venmo. Yo, what's up? Are you in the car? I am in the car. Is that too loud? Yeah, no, it's TikTok TOS. TikTok TOS. We're going to go to the next person. Only send a guest request if you disagree, everyone. I appreciate all the the, the Venmos, everyone. Thank you so much. You Yo. Say, how old are you? Who, me? Yeah, how old are you? 25. What's your birth year? Um, appreciate the galaxy. Thank 05. you so much. Appreciate it, Max. What's up? 05. Wow, that was like such great math. That is unbelievable. That is like the greatest math I've heard on I've heard ever. I've really never heard better better math chat. That was that was so good, dude. Yo, what's up, how old are you? Yeah, I'm 18. What's your birth year? Uh, oh, if, oh four. Um, what month? Uh, September. Uh, your math was wrong, bro. Math is wrong, bro. Math is wrong. That's tough. That's tough, bro. That's tough. That would be 19. Yo, what's up? How old are you? Hey, I'm actually 34. For sure. Do you think that being gay is wrong or immoral? Oh, no. I 100% accept what you're doing. And I just want to give you a shout out out loud for um, queer visibility, um, letting people see that, you know, it is okay. And I just wanted to, you know, commend you for what you're doing and just say thank you, man. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Have a fantastic yeah, have day. A great day honey. Thank you so much. Let's go on to the next person, everyone. I appreciate everyone. Tap that screen. Let's try to get to 250,000 likes. If you want to help get out to more people, keep sharing the live, everyone. Let's go on to the next person. Again, only send a guest request. If you disagree, everyone, you already know the deal. W guest, everyone, honestly. That's a W guest. Yo, what's up? How old are you? Hello? 32. Hey, 32. Yeah, for sure. Do you think that being gay is wrong or immoral? Um, It's actually not immoral. It's actually good to be gay i'm actually hearing all these people talk about how it's immoral 
but it's ridiculous how about they try to talk about the Bible, but they actually use the Bible to their convenience. And I just don't like that. Yeah, absolutely. But I appreciate you coming on. I'm looking for people who disagree. Thank you so much, though. I appreciate it. Have a fantastic day. We're going to go on to the next person. Again, only send a guest request if you disagree, everyone. You already know the deal. W's in the chat. Everyone tap that screen, though. You know what's up? How old are you? I'm 31. For sure. Do you think that being gay is wrong or moral? I think it's wrong. Why do you think it's wrong? Um, going to uh, because of biblical, like act like, like how do I say? It? Like I, I didn't I didn't care back then. Like I didn't care, but like I'm saying like um uh, I think it's wrong because I encountered Jesus, and what's I used your, to be. What's What's your birth year, by the way? Uh, February third, nineteen ninety two. Nineteen ninety two. Yeah, I know. Like I know my voice sounds. Yeah, I know. I know. A lot of people tell me I have a a kid's voice. But it's because I, I was born with uh, no upper palate. That's why I sound like that. Oh, yeah, you're good. Don't worry. Don't worry. So so why do you think that being gay is wrong? I mean, it's wrong because it's, it's like, you can't, like, you don't extend, like, your, uh, how do you say it? Like, you can't, like, reproduce. That's why I think it's wrong. So you can, okay, so is it wrong for me to engage in intercourse with a woman who's infertile? Uh, well, that depends if you want to continue your family bloodline uh if you don't want to is it wrong mm, in god's eyes it is in god's eyes it is well yeah because we we're, we're we're placed on this earth to reproduce um okay so was it wrong for jesus to not reproduce well he had to pay this he had to pay he had to die for our sin yeah, but but G was it wrong for Jesus to, to not reproduce? Well, I guess not. And yeah, in, in the point, yeah, I guess it, it wasn't wrong. Because I mean, he had a purpose. Because if he if he would have reproduced, and I'm pretty sure there wasn't a reason for him to die on the cross. If he reproduced, there wouldn't be a reason for him to die on the cross. Yeah, because you see know why that's he, the case. Because then he's gonna wanna continue his life on Earth. His purpose would have ended right there. Because <laughs> if if he wouldn't have died, he wouldn't have saved us from our sin. Um, here one second. Um, okay, so like, <laughs> uh, here I'm confused. Um, so hold up. Uh, so how do you know that the Bible is accurate in prescribing what's right and wrong about um, morality? I mean, I think it's right. I mean. I, I used to be like I used to drink every weekend, and uh, like every weekend, every, like Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I was an atheist, and I became uh, I became a believer. When uh, when one day uh, I woke up in heaven, and this is after my father passed away, my father passed away. It was like six months after he passed away. Um, I went to heaven. I saw my dad. And um, I told them that I loved them. I hugged them, and then I woke up, and um, and then I was like, "Damn, that was a crazy experience." So, was this a dream or a near-death experience? It was uh, a dream. A dream. So, so yeah. do, do we think that just because we had this dream, that means that heaven exists? <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's what I I had the same question. I was like, okay, maybe it was just like I was just a dream. I was like, it's, it's not possible, right? So then a week later, I, I, a week later, uh, I had the same dream, but this time I drank a full glass of blueberry wine, and then I, w I went to sleep. And then this time I felt like my actual soul came out of my body, went straight to heaven, seen my dad again, but then this time he was like 200 feet away, and then... Um, so, so maybe is it that like you were drunk and you lucid uh -oh. dream, and you had a lucid dream, right? I think um, that maybe I think, yeah. I think that's mm -hmm. I think that happens to a lot of people. Um, yeah. So, well, like, like generally speaking, I I don't I don't think this would indicate to me that some type of like heaven would exist. Um, uh, and I think that there are reasons to believe that that like Christianity would be false um, <laughs> because there are issues with saying that it's true. Like, do you think that God is perfect? Well, Jesus, I think he's perfect. I think God is perfect, in a way. 
you think God is perfect. So like, for example, right. Um, w given a perfect test taker, what would you expect to see? From God? No, like just like a perfect test taker, someone who is like perfect at taking tests in school or something. Well, I mean, everybody, I mean, if you study enough, yeah, pretty sure you'd be perfect at taking tests. No, I'm not saying can be, no, I'm saying, what would you expect to see? You'd expect to see like perfect test scores, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. of course. Yeah, like yeah, so, so a perfect free throw shooter, what would you expect to see? Was a perfect, perfect shot every time. I appreciate the, appreciate the subscription. Thank you so much. Perfect amount of free throws made. A perfect creator, what would you expect to see? Was a perfect creator, like you're saying, yeah. Everything perfect, in a, a way, yeah. Perfect creation, right? Yeah, are, yeah. are we created by God? Yeah, of course. Thank you for the subscription. Are we perfect? No. No. So Maybe. like, he, here's the point. If, if there's a perfect creator and we would expect to see a perfect creation, if we're not a perfect creation, then we don't have a perfect creator. Yeah, I, I, I get what you're saying. I, I get what you're saying. But I'm, I'm basically basing it off my personal encounter, what I had on the second dream. <clears throat> yeah. But, but this would tell us that this perfect God doesn't exist, though, right? Because then we would expect to see that we are perfect. So given that we, we are not perfect, we wouldn't have that perfect creator. Yeah, but like, uh, Miss Dill, because she gave us a free choice of not being perfect. Like, we got that free will. Yeah, but if we were perfect and had free will, we would always do the perfect thing. Appreciate well, the subscription. Well, Thank you so much. Like, again, yeah, as, yeah, as God has free will and God is perfect... So God always does the right thing. Yeah, I get that. But it's like you could create a robot, like an AI, like right now. Like I could create one right now. And I could create it to do a certain thing. But he has the mind of his own. Like he could learn evil things, not from me, but certain from his own, like, brain. Because I don't know if you, like, know how AI works. They, they have their own memory. They can build their own knowledge. Well, they're like language models now, but yeah. yeah. So um, here, yeah, uh, yeah. This this would be like a general argument that I would run. If I mean, if you aren't necessarily open to something, like that, I appreciate the subscription. Thank you so much. All right, I would just say that like, if we're looking at spiritual experiences, would you accept the conclusions formed from the spiritual experience of Prophet Muhammad with the angel Gabriel? <clears throat> what are you saying again? Sorry. Would you accept the conclusions formed from the spiritual experience that Prophet Muhammad had with the angel Gabriel? No, I don't agree no. with that. No. Well, so what would, I appreciate the hat and mustache. Thank you so much. What, why would we accept the conclusions formed from your spiritual experience, but we don't accept the conclusions formed from Prophet Muhammad's spiritual experience? Because uh, Muhammad wasn't like Jesus. Muhammad was sleeping with underage women. Um, so, so I, again, I, I, that actually wouldn't actually dispute whether or not it's correct. Right. By the way, but like, um, I agree that that's wrong. Right. Um, yeah, so, yeah, and we can also see context like that where adults are with minors in the context of the Bible. Also, Mary was likely 12 through 16. So God impregnated a minor. I also <laughs> reference that. But that's not in the Bible. It doesn't say how specifically she was in the Bible. Yeah, but uh, Jew Jewish girls, typically speaking, I appreciate the, the little crowd. Thank you so much. At that time, were to be married around like 12 through 16. But it's not biblical. Like I'm saying, I got to see evidence that that was actually. There would there'd be, yeah, there'd be Christians that even claim claim the same thing I'm referencing. You can go to Christianity.com and it will give you give you those numbers. I'm pretty sure I looked at it a couple of months ago and I didn't see any like actual evidence from it. But I'll I'll double check on that. And see. Yeah, so by the way, now you want evidence? For what? You see, you don't you don't accept the claim just by like me saying it. You want evidence to say how do I know this is correct? So yeah, in the same way that you ask, how do I know that this is correct when it relates to this circumstance, we should also ask, how do I know that this is correct when it relates to the beliefs that you hold? So that's kind of what I'm asking. When I, when, I, when I brought up the argument with the perfection, that's to say, I don't think that this is an accurate statement when we're saying a perfect God exists, as it doesn't correspond with what we see within reality. 
Yeah, I get that. But I already got my evidence that I know Jesus was real. Because what I said on my second dream, uh, I encounter him and I talk to him. So I know for a fact, like, if, even if you don't believe me or anybody doesn't believe me, as long as I do what I got to do to make it to heaven, for me, that's all that matters. But at least I'm spreading what I encounter when I, when I, when I seen him. <clears throat> all right. Is, is there anything else you'd like to go over or talk about? Um, probably not, because I'm pretty sure we're not, you know what I'm saying, we're not, <laughs> I mean. All right, man, I appreciate you coming yeah. on. Thank you so yeah. much. Well, thank you, though. Thank you for it. Oh, I appreciate it, appreciate it, man. We're going to go on to the next person. If you like the content, follow me if you haven't already. Tap that screen, everyone. We're going to go on to the next person. Again, if you like the content, follow me if you haven't already. Let me go to the next guest, everyone. Uh, let's get them up here, everyone. Yo, what's up? How old are you? Me, I'm 40, dog. For sure. Do you think that being gay is wrong or immoral? So my sister's gay, man. Um, I grew up around it, so I'm not as phased about it. I am a Republican, okay? So you're going to get a Republican take on it. But I'm a more of a middle-of-the-road thing. But I kind of have a different take on this. What... I guess the biggest question we need to ask on all of this is really to everybody... I heard the boy a minute ago with the Christian view on it, but as Christians, we know that um, you walk your line. So if gay, being gay is wrong or immoral, I've got a lot of shit that I've got to answer for, right? I've got my own sins. I got my own beefs. I got my own things. So if being gay or immoral is wrong in the eyes of Christianity, as Christians, we're not supposed to judge that. We hope they come around if that's what we think they need to do. And then we go and answer for our own sins when we die, right? That's the way it's supposed to write. But the question that I want to know from like what the world has become these days, because I am a little older, so I've seen it kind of met metastasized into this. Why does it matter who someone loves from a standpoint of like f those gays to we love gays why does it matter who someone loves when they go home at the end of the day yeah so are you saying that it's wrong no, I'm yeah. not. I just wanted to take a different take at it to just stop and ask all of our. So, 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 you, so you don't think it's wrong? Uh, you think it's wrong to engage in gay intercourse? I think it's an individual's preference, and I don't think it's. Is it I wrong? Mean, dude, I've had sex outside the bonds of marriage plenty of times, so I can't. That's what I'm saying. I can't sit there and judge another human being's life and say something's wrong because I've got plenty of blood on my shirt. Okay. Um, I just think, I just think like with all the people watching, I guess the question we all need to ask ourselves with the politics around being gay is, wait, so I have a question then, uh, why does it matter who someone loves? What's up with your bio? Oh yeah. Just because, you know, being in the gaming industry a lot, um, you, uh, you get a lot of people that like to talk a lot of trash, so if you take it away from them and don't give them anything, I'm a, I'm a pretty big narcissist, to be 100% honest. Um, but my biggest thing with this whole situation you, is you not... You self-identify? Are you, are you diagnosed? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You, you're, you're diagnosed? Yeah, I go talk to somebody on a couch, bro. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, and... But but my biggest question is, you know, for me, if we're all busy living our lives, like, I don't care if a man goes home and loves another man. But I also grew up with a gay sister, so it was all kind of more normal. No, okay, me. but no, but like, what's the what's up with the F your pronouns part? Because, I mean, a lot of girls will sit there and do pronouns. And it's like, come on, shorty, we can clearly see you're a girl. We can clearly see you have a boyfriend. We can clearly see what you identify as. When it comes to the trans community wanting to use their pronouns, that's a completely different story. I'm talking Yeah, but it's about, to normalize the usage of them. But I'm talking about like 18-year-old girls following a fad. There's way too many fads that are being What, what do you mean by that? Well, the pronoun fad. Like if you got an 18-year-old girl that clearly dates men, 
clearly acts as a woman, clearly is a woman, clearly fits the profile of a woman as far as a girl. Yeah, you know? them saying them saying she her. What's wrong with that? I mean, it's 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 just. I mean, we get it, but it's eighteen year olds. It's it's fad. It's kids following a fad sucked into social media. Social media ruined us. Um, why why is this an an example of how social media has ruined us? Oh, did he get a call? Shreddy, send a guest now? request back. You got a call, man. You got a call. Send a guest request back. In the meantime, every oh, no, we got we got we got ten percent. Everyone, we got ten percent. I've got to fix the. I've got to fix this real quick. We'll fix it here in a second. Um, everyone, tap that screen. In the meantime, let's try to get to two hundred fifty thousand likes. If you want to help get out to more people, keep sharing the live. Everyone, we're gonna get him back up here. Let me see if I can find him. Send a guest request back. Um, I don't know if he did. I don't know if he did. I might go into the next person if he doesn't send a guest request back. But in the meantime, everyone keep tapping that screen. Where'd you go before? I got I got like a 10 minute timeout on TikTok. TikTok is just, I don't know what's been going on recently. Okay, I don't see them in the guest box. We're gonna go into the next person. Only send a guest request if you disagree, y'all. We are just looking. Oh y'all. Hopefully this connects my stuff. Yo, it's a power. Oh y'all. Hopefully this connects my oh, stuff. You they, they have huge echo, huge echo. Next person, next person. All right, we're plugged in, chat. We're plugged in. We're we're good. We're good. Don't worry, everyone. Yo, what's up? How old are you? Hello? Hello. What's going on, man? Yeah, how old are you? I'm 32. Do you think that being gay is wrong or moral? Uh, I think it all goes on definitions of what is your definition of gay and what is definitions of wrong and immoral. I think everybody's definitions are different, you know, based off where they come from and how they grew up. So I think I think the misconceptions with pe when people communicate is always definitions. So, I mean, your definition of being gay and your definition of wrong can be completely different than most, you know. So I think that's where the misconception is. But, I mean, I don't believe it's wrong to my definitions of wrong. Okay, so I'm going to look for someone who disagrees. Appreciate you coming on, man. Let's go to the next person. Only send a guest request if you disagree, everyone. We are just looking for some debates, y'all. Yo, what's up? How old are you? No, I need followers, please. Holy shiitake mushrooms. Holy shiitake mushrooms. They are like, they are like six. Yeah, that was brutal, chat. Yo, Bills Mafia, I appreciate the corgi. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. We're going to go to the next person. Again, only send a guest request. If you disagree, everyone, we are just looking for some debates, y'all. Damn, dude. There are literal children on the app. That's so tough. That was a fetus. That was a fetus. That actually was a fetus, chat. That's unbelievable. Yo, what's up? How old are you? Okay, so I'm going to make this kind of short. because I'm. How old are you? Oh, me? 15. Yeah. Ooh, 18 plus everyone tiktok rules 18 plus 18 plus next person everyone keep tapping that screen non-sentient yo so real so real bio said 13 are you are you, is that what i sounded like when i was 13 oh my i literally had i had a fucking youtube channel when i was 13 i did like call of duty cut comms that's what i sounded like that's so tough yo what's up how old are you uh, 37. Yeah, do you think that being gay is wrong or moral? I don't think it's immoral. I think it's just an aberration. What do you mean by aberration? Nature sometimes makes little quirks in different species, and that's one of them. That's why we have homosexuality recorded in animals as well. What do you mean by but quirks? Sometimes people get born with four fingers instead of five. I don't, why is it comparable to that? Because it's just one of the features of the... Why, why, why is someone losing person. something if they're gay? I don't think they're losing something necessarily. Why wouldn't it just be like comparable to someone having blonde hair or brown hair? Mm, are you saying that... Or liking broccoli or not liking broccoli? May I finish? No. 
Okay. If you're not interested in allowing people to finish their sentences, then goodbye. Peace out. <laughs> We're going to go to the next person. Only send a guest request if you disagree, everyone. We're just looking for some debates. <laughs> You know, what's up? How old are you? I'm um, 45. Thank you. I appreciate the autumn leaves. Thank you so much. Do you think that be, uh, being, being gay is wrong or immoral? Well, <clears throat> here's my stance on everything. My father's gay. He's married to another man. Um, he was married to my mother for 18 years. Uh, he's in his 60s. Um, you know, back in the day, gay was completely wrong, you know, uh, in his time um like it was not okay and what's in any way shape do you or think form. that being gay is wrong or moral well i mean here's where this changes and it not just changes with me but it changes with my father and his husband and it changes with uh my neighbors across the street they're actually in their ones in their their late 60s and the others in the early 70s and they're gay men married together um and then my, you know, between the two of them, I've got a ton of older gay married friends, uh, not to mention when I was 21, I worked in a lesbian bar as a bartender for... Hey, hey man, is, do you think that being gay is wrong or immoral? Well, here's where gay is wrong, all right? So you do what, think it's wrong? What, well, you no. Know, Here's it, no, this, okay. This, I, I'm gonna look this, for someone no, who disagrees. No, no, don't let me go, please. I do. I agree that what you're you asking. Agree or what, you disagree? Here's where the question that you're asking. This is bro, bro, running around the fucking question so hard. We're gonna go to the next person. <laughs> Why do people do that, bro? Like, come on, bro. Bro sounds like a politician. Oh shit! I'm How on the shit. Twenty one. What's your birth year? Uh, 2002. Do you think that being gay is wrong or moral? Man, I feel like, bro, that shit is wrong, bro. You, you can ask me why, right? Huh? Well, yeah, why do you think it's wrong? I mean, bro, I know that you're going to say is, if I say ain't no sex or you're going to be like, oh, blah, 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 you're going to keep going around it or whatever. I just feel like it just, how can, how can you start, like, how is a, how can you start a family if you're gay? Just adoption, this like I don't understand like why is gay is like I don't understand that shit, bro. Why? So um, you can still have kids through like artificial insemination or like IVF in vitro fertilization, uh, mm -hmm. and you can produce children biologically through that. There's also like adoption. There are many right. straight couples that are that are like have an infertile individual within the couple, and mm -hmm. they adopt children as well. Um, do do you mm -hmm. think those couples are legitimate in their in their marriages? Uh. That's a good question, bro. Uh, I mean, I just don't, I just don't understand, bro. Like, I just don't understand that. Like, what's the point of just going gay, then just adopting? If, do you think it's wrong if I engage in intercourse with an infertile woman? No. No. But, like, what's produced from that? Damn. Hold on. Go back again. Restart. Restart. Say it again. Yeah. Is it wrong for me to engage in intercourse with an infertile woman? Oh, that's a good question. Oh, shit. Oh, just kick me off, bro. You, you just killed me. I don't know. I no, don't it's fine. Know. No, let's just demonstrate the point. Like, it, mm -hmm. this doesn't lead to reproduction, and we wouldn't consider this intercourse to be wrong. So what would make gay intercourse wrong? I mean, it's, 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 it's easier to catch a disease. I mean... Yeah, so there it's are some healthy, STDs that, in which are easier to be caught among straight right. individuals and some STDs in which are easier to be caught amongst gay individuals. So that's right. not going to be a standard in which we could use to say that this is wrong. Plus, right. gay intercourse with a condom would then be mm -hmm. okay uh, or better than uh, right. straight intercourse without a condom, right? As right. A straight intercourse without a condom would be at a greater risk of STDs. So right. what's the reason why gay intercourse is wrong then? It just, but I, I know that it's a higher risk of catching something though. It, 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 not in, no, not it, in the scenarios that is provided, and not in terms okay, of you, many you different said, types of Okay, you said you said something about a condom, right? Okay, a condom might bust, or or anything might happen. A condom yeah, but it's a, it's at a it's at a greater risk of 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 uh, like STD if you're not wearing a condom. 
Um, right. And also, by the way, right, again, there are some STDs that are more prevalent in straight individuals and some STDs that are more prevalent and spread amongst gay individuals, right? It's not just like one mm -hmm. STD or, I mean, I mean all, like all the STDs in which are more prevalent amongst gay people. That's not how it works. Okay. Now, this is my last question, and I'll go, bro. All right? You put 100 women and 10 men on the island, right? It's going to produce forever. It's going to keep going. You put 100 men, or well, 100, 100, let me say, I'm wrong if I can say it. Let me get right. What, what if the straight individuals are celibate, and they don't want to engage in intercourse with anyone? Is there going to be any reproduction there? I mean, bro. Bro, you got to you got to think about it, bro. Is it wrong for them to it's, be celibate to not want to engage in intercourse with people? No. It's not wrong. But like if everyone but, on the island was celibate, there would be no reproduction. 100 years go by nothing. there'd be bones. But life will never keep going. Yeah, exactly, but it's not wrong to be celibate though. Oh, he just got community guidelined everyone. We're going to the next person everyone. Only send a guest request if you disagree. I honestly don't know why he got guidelined. We're going to go into the next person, everyone. Only send a guest request if you disagree, everyone. Keep tapping that screen, everyone. Yo, what's up? How old are you? <clears throat> 40. Yo, what, do you think that being gay is wrong or moral? Uh, yeah. Uh, why so? Well, just like your last guest, I mean, it's not the design, like, the reproductive organs were meant to match up, to, to produce a baby. Not yes. perfect. Pleasure. Yeah, so is it wrong for me to engage in intercourse with an infertile woman? No. But that doesn't lead to reproduction. Well, I mean, that's one's a choice and one is, you know, biological uh, deficiency. Like they, they, they have an issue that they can't control. Being gay is not a choice, plus... Um, I'm talking about the scenario in which me as a fertile man, I choose to engage in intercourse with a woman who's infertile, knowing that they're infertile. Yep. So you're saying being gay isn't a choice? It's not a choice, no. Can you choose to find me sexually arousing right now? I mean, if I chose to, that would be my choice. But Could you, could you choose to find your mother sexually arousing? If, if I chose to, it would be wrong. Could you choose to find your child sexually arousing? Yeah, I mean, people do crazy things, yeah. No, people could you? That. Could I? Mm -hmm. uh, no, because that doesn't line up with my morals. No, so, so if you can't choose, what makes you think other people can choose? Well, they just, they can. They need to. <laughs> yeah, how I mean, do they choose it? Again, you, you didn't give me a process. Well, I mean, it's, it's, it's. There, there are lines that you just, you have to follow. I mean, it's clearly wrong. There are lines you have to follow. What do you mean? Why is well, it clearly wrong? Why, why would I find my daughter attractive? You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, like you can't do that, right? So if you can't do that, doesn't that demonstrate the, the point that sexual attraction is not a choice? But people do. You, you, you hear of all kinds. Yeah. Of and do you think that's a choice? Happening. Like, Usually it's the male finding a daughter attractive and, you know, they're, they carry that on. And I mean, in a descriptive sense, that can be biologically determined. Probably because it's uh, passed down from the yeah, generation. By the way, when, whether or not it's biologically determined doesn't determine whether or not it's right or wrong. Yeah, I, I think even, saying. Even if it was a choice, it wouldn't be wrong, but it's not a choice. Well, I mean, that's your opinion. That's, but I don't think it's the majority of opinion. What do you mean? Choice. Like it's, I choose to be with a woman. I, I could choose to be with a man, you know, but I, that's not for me. Yeah. Um, but like, you can't choose to have that attraction. They didn't choose to have attraction towards men. That's the attraction they happen to have. Uh, just as a woman didn't choose to be infertile, it just happened to happen. But it's exactly so. In the infertile situation, is that a, is that immoral for me to engage in intercourse with a woman who's infertile? 
if she's a biological woman and you're a biological man, then no, it's you. But it doesn't lead to reproduction. But, but the, it's still, that's, that's the scenario that you're, you're trying to say, cause I'm choosing there that it's okay to choose over here. You know what I mean? What do you mean? Well, you're saying because I'm choosing to be with someone who is infertile and it doesn't lead to reproduction of a baby and neither does, uh, being gay either way, man and man. And woman. yeah, I'm asking why do you consider one to be wrong, but not the other, given that the reasoning applies to both because the, the reason for the function of, of those organs is to produce and just because one isn't functioning properly doesn't lead to a wrong choice. No, but it's me choosing to be with them when I could be with someone else who's fertile. Well, I mean, that's, that's your choice, I guess. You, uh, and is that choice wrong? I believe it is. For me to be with an infertile woman. No, that's, that one's okay. Okay. So, so the, the reason is that then it's just wrong for a man to be with a man. It's not because of it, uh, whether or not it leads to procreation. Well, I mean, I get your point of view. It's just that's not everyone's choice. You can find a hundred reasons why other people's choices are validated. It doesn't mean it's right. What do you mean? <clears throat> I, I mean, literally... You know, if, if I chose to be with a, a man, that's still my choice, but it doesn't mean it's right. Yeah, it's, but why is it wrong? Why is it wrong? Yeah, why I mean, is it wrong? Uh, that's my personal belief. You know what I mean? I mean I, I yeah, but there's no reason you're giving. You're, there's no accounting for the intuition. Well, I mean, I have I have people in my family that are have chose to, you know, engage in this sort of lifestyle. It doesn't mean I feel any different about them. I just it's just not for me. You know what I mean? I I, I think it's I'm wrong. not telling you to be gay. Right? I'm not gay myself. Right. But you should accept people who are gay. You shouldn't think it's wrong. Right. Why do you think it's wrong? Is it because of religion? Uh, no, because I'm not. Religious. I mean, I so used then to. Then what's the motivating but, reason? I just don't understand the only the only benefit, and I, and I know what you're gonna say, but the only benefit is just simple um, feeling, like you know. But there's no, there would never have an outcome to reproduce. Yeah, same thing with the infertile woman situation. But you didn't see that to be wrong. Well, I, I see what you're saying, but it, I still think it's it's wrong. I mean, again, that's my choice. Like, I that's my beliefs. So I'm not going to change your beliefs. But you have no reason to account for it. Well, just simply because there is, you know, if I go out to my car and put the wrong gas in it it's still gonna drive for a minute and then it'll break down it's it's not meant to be though you know it's like i know that's a horrible <laughs> that's a horrible can you, uh can you restate that i'm confused what you mean um uh, i'm trying to think of something a different way to explain it um yeah i i guess i'll have to come back when i i have a better argument so you have no argument, so why do you conclude that it's wrong if you have no argument? Well, it's just a personal belief. I mean, you're not going to change my mind with a scenario that just because someone's infertile, it's going to end in the same that two men together, two women together. Um, I think it was meant to be that way. Yeah, you think it's meant to be that way, but you have no reasoning. Well, I mean, all all of the reproductive organs are there for a reason and 
I cannot produce a baby on my own. I cannot produce a baby with another man, but I can with a woman. Not with a woman who's infertile. Correct. But you I, don't think I that's can't. you don't think it's wrong to engage in intercourse there. I can't. So with the that same reasoning that do you think oral sex is wrong? Do I think oral sex is wrong? Mm -hmm. Uh, I guess it depends on the situation. Are you married? Yeah. If not, then it's wrong. It's okay. So, um, uh, so for example, if two gay people are married, can they engage in oral? Yeah, I mean it, that's their choice. They chose to get married, and they chose to have oral. Is it wrong? I I think it's wrong for me. You know what Why I mean? Why is it wrong? <sighs> yeah, I uh, maybe it's just the way I was raised. I think I think a lot of things have changed over the years from generation to generation. So what, no reason we just like feel this way. I yeah. Like I said, I don't I don't uh, think it's I wouldn't be different to you. I have gay friends. I have like I said, I have someone in my family who is actually with someone who is transgendered. And I wouldn't have even known had they not told me. Um again, you know, I don't act different. I don't treat them different. Um Yeah, I so just, like the idea the idea here is that you consider it to be wrong with absolutely no justification. And maybe that's just... So maybe. it just sounds like you have a bias. I can see that. I can agree with that. Yeah, why do we have this bias? Maybe just... Um, I mean... You go further back in time and it was... You know, it was wrong to be black. You know? I mean, it wasn't wrong. It was just everyone was treated different. And that's totally off subject. It, it was everything. So was people at the time different. considered it to be wrong. You don't consider it to be wrong, right? Correct. Yeah. So again, people considering it to be wrong doesn't mean we should consider it to be wrong. We clearly should be cons consider it to be okay to be black the same way it's okay to be white the same way it's okay to be any individual. Like 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 I don't know what the point you're making is. Right. I'm, well, I'm not saying it's. I'm not saying it's wrong to be black. I'm saying the old. In the old days, it was like, oh my God, a black person, um, or oh my gosh, a, a, someone, you know, a Chinese person. You know, people have their own beliefs. Um, I think. And those are um, biases you should not have, right? Well, I mean, that's what makes each person different. I think. Do you think? Do you think you should not have those biases? Probably. What do you mean, probably? <laughs> well, I mean, why I is it not unequivocal? I, well, I don't walk up to gay people and say this is wrong. Don't do this. I just no. say for why for is it me. not unequivocal for you to to say that? Like what? Why do you say probably? Uh, maybe I'm just not there. Oh, he just got community guideline. All right, we're going to go to the next person. What the hell? The probably is wild. The probably is so wild. That is so wild. All right, we're going to get Ascension if Ascension can join in, everyone. All right, it's not accepting this Ascension, so we're going to go into the next person. Only send a guest request if you disagree. We're just looking for some debates, everyone. Keep tapping that screen in the meantime, everyone. Let's try to get to 500,000 likes, y'all. Thank you for the hand heart. I appreciate it, Venus. Thank you so much. I am hungry, low key. Yo, what's up? How old are you? How 52. Old are you? Yeah, do you, think that, do you think that being gay is wrong or immoral? Yes, I think it's wrong. I think it's what? immoral. I think it's because it goes against everything nature intended. And when you go against nature, usually, but no, no, it's not even usually. If you go any, whenever you do anything that's not on the lines of nature is going to fight back. Something's going to happen from doing the wrong things that nature intended it to be. So I don't, I don't, I think being gay is wrong because it's just not, it's not what nature intended it to be. Period. Yeah. So did Nate, did nature intend you to be on an iPhone right now? 
No, nature didn't intend me to be on iPhone. I intended that. So, so are you doing something wrong right now? No. Okay, so I don't think you care about nature then. Is, oh, me yeah. is medicine no. bad? We, we're talking about we're talking about human being and, and sexuality. We're not talking about my iPhone. We're talking about sexuality and men versus men and men and women and women is nature didn't intend that and we know this for a fact yeah so how do you know because throughout history it's been that way no throughout history th there's been gay intercourse in nature and there's straight intercourse in nature i don't know what your point is yeah but but it doesn't equal up to what if you have a, a, a heterosexual man heterosexual woman like you said because i know you said before something about a woman that can't have a baby would that be wrong or whatever? But the intention on having a baby is, is the, the, nat, the nat, nature part of it is the same. It's, it's you're and a woman are having intercourse, which you can have a baby, but there may be some complications to where you can't have a baby. That's the explanation for that. But for a man and a man to do is, that- Is oral is, sex natural? Oral sex is natural. Is it, is it okay for two gay people to engage in oral sex? I believe that two gay people having oral sex is wrong. Uh, why? Because, again, it's against. It's, it's not natural. So how do you determine what's natural and what's not? Well, the way I determine it is be, is from me having intercourse with a woman and I have a baby, and a man. Yeah, yeah, but like, but at the, at the you can't have intercourse and have a baby from oral sex. That just doesn't happen. And also uh, the function of the mouth is eating and breathing, right? Correct, correct. And and if you want well, if you want to use that as a I would say it's something we made up. Um I can't really answer that question as far as if it's right between a man and a woman and a man and a man because we we really don't know if the if, that the intention was from I don't know if you're doing it biblically or you you would uh speak on you no know, the body believing that or not but with with with, with it, I, that's just that's just something hard to, to really kind of speak on because i you know that's just something we learned from just human beings somebody tried so, it so, one day so you're not it, making the claim that if it's against nature it's bad yes i'm, I'm still making that claim but that's, Wait, but like that's, again, that's, there are many that's, things that's, that you think that are not natural that are fine. We can do well, we, okay. Let's let's say that then. There are some things that are, and there's some things that aren't. That's just what it is. I mean, we, I mean, we can't say that if it's not natural this way for everything, then it shouldn't be natural this way for everything else. I mean, it's just certain things that nature provided that is. Uh, supposed by to be the way, I have a question. Are you driving? No, I'm not. Okay, I don't know why the chat's like saying that, but yeah, continue. No, I'm actually sitting down. Um, like I said, we, we let's just say that then that some things are meant in nature to be done in a certain way, and then some things aren't. Yeah. So how do you know which ones are and which ones aren't? You're saying by what leads to reproduction, but neither of neither oral sex leads to reproduction. You 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 really good with that one, but like I said, I I just believe the oral sex thing was something that wasn't that has nothing to do with nature. It's just something we created ourselves and tried to do. And if a man does it with another man, personally, me, I don't think that's correct. I don't yeah, think but like, what would be the reason? Because it's, it, because the man has the same genitalia that I have. So that, that's I, just stating the claim that they're of the same sex, right? So you're just saying that being gay is wrong. You're restating that claim. You're not giving a reason. Well, I did give the reason. My reason was nature, but I explained it's certain things in nature and certain things. But in oral nature. sex is natural, um, under your it, view. It's not. No, I don't think oral, oral sex is natural. I said I think that we created that. Oh, oh yeah, it's not natural. So it's not natural for for straight individuals, and it's not natural for gay individuals. But it's okay I, for straight individuals, and it's not okay for gay I individuals. Didn't know, and I, I agree with that. I said I believe that it's something we created. I'm not saying it's natural for or heterosexual or gay. I'm just saying that's something we cre recreated, and if gays do that, then that's just something we do. If heterosexuals do it, that's something they try. But in my so eyes, why is it okay for for heterosexual people, but it's not okay for gay people? 
I'm not, I'm not saying it's okay for either one. As far oh. as, oh, listen, hold on. As far yeah, as no, all sex is concerned, that's because that's something humans created. We created that thing to do when, like I said, the first man, who knows who the first man and woman or who first man and man decided to say, let's try this. Let me hold this and put it in my mouth and see what happens. I mean, that's just something we created. That's just there. I mean, like I said, I don't know. I'm pretty sure oral sex exists in nature as well. Uh, how? Like, for example, like bonobos, which are like very similar to like humans, genetically speaking, are known mm -hmm. for being lesbian, which okay. would include oral sex. And those are animals. I mean, we're animals, but there are other types of animals. Yeah. Well, technically, okay, yeah, technically we are. But um, I think in the animal kingdom and humans, they're they're so different, but we're the same. And again, I don't think the rules apply to, and I can't tell you why, because I know you're gonna say why. I don't, I don't, I can't apply those rules to the animal kingdom compared to the human world, because we're just, there's that's just two separate things that don't. We have really nothing to do with that. Uh, I mean, we are animals, but like, I mean, uh, yeah, sure. I mean, I, I'm not using nature to justify what we're doing. You were. Yeah, yeah, you're right, but. Uh, I just don't, I, I just can't use a, I, I'm not going to compare those two is what I'm saying. Um, the bottom line is, is just, I think that I don't, I don't, in my, in my eyes, I don't, I don't think that's right. I don't condemn anybody for it. I don't, I just don't get into that part of the world. I just, I stay in the hetero, hetero part of the world. That's all. Yeah, but we have no reasoning for this. Do you have any reasoning for it? Um, well, you're the one that has the position. I'm, I'm asking. I'm just asking you. Do you have a position as far as? Um, I don't think it's right or wrong to be gay. The same way I don't think it's right or wrong to be. I don't think it's right or wrong to be straight. There's not a claim that you should be straight, and there's not a claim that you should be gay, and there's not a claim that you shouldn't be straight, and there's not a claim that you shouldn't be gay. Well, I'll just claim that whatever anybody else, whatever anybody belief is, let's just roll with that. Whatever your belief is is what your belief is, and if you don't, if you don't feel that way is right, then don't do it. If you feel that way is right, do it. Because in the end, yeah. But do you have any way to account for your feeling? Uh, that would have. If the only way I could account for my feeling is um, because I, the way I was raised and what I believed in, as far as religion is concerned, and I think that goes along with a lot of other people that just basically base these things off of how they came up and and what you know what type of religion they study it doesn't make it right it doesn't make it wrong but at the same time you can only go with your gut feeling of what you feel is right or wrong yeah but you're not going to be able to convince anyone yeah, I, I don't you know what i'm not even going to try to convince it's just kind of like without without an accounting for it it just sounds like you have like some sort of bias towards it like, if there's no way to account for it. So, is it religious-based? Uh, for me, personally, it would be religious-based. There we go. So, like, what religion? Well, I've been uh, I've been Jehovah Witness, and I have been um, Christian. As of now, I'm non-denomination. But I cannot get rid of what I've learned and what, you know, coming up as a kid, that's, in, that's just in me. So... Let me just recant and, and say this. If there was something that made me, not made me, but a feeling that I had that changed my mind, then I, I believe, again, that's just a personal thing that's, that a person feels that they're going to do. But I, like I said, I'm 52 years old. And from, from the beginning, from when I've been born up until now, that's what's in my system. That's what I've learned. And... At 52, it's really hard to unlearn everything you've learned over 52 years. So, I, like, again, like I said, I just, I'm going by what... But, but there's I, points to question it, right? So the point we can say is that um, you, don't, you don't have to unlearn, but the thing is you just need to learn more, right? And say, like, oh, let's question my old knowledge, what I learned before. And at this point, we could say, clearly speaking, it seems like this knowledge doesn't necessarily lead to us being able to accurately explain the world around us. Appreciate the paper grade. Thank you so much. Like when it relates to a perfect God, right? And a perfect creator, wouldn't we expect to see like 
like say something that's created that's perfect? Um, I believe, as far as the creator's concerned, I believe that we were created. I, 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 I believe we weren't created perfect. I believe that we were created and we were meant to do something, but things just went the way it went in the world, and that's just how it is. I mean, wait. So let, let me ask you this question. Oh, Kenzie, thank you so much for the raid, Kenzie. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. So my question would then be, uh, uh, wait, sorry, can you just re restate what I just said? I kind of forgot because Kenzie sent the raid. Kenzie, I appreciate the raid. Thank you so much. Oh man, you know what? And when you said that, I forgot what you said. <laughs> oh, it's fine. Don't worry. Is there anything else you want to add or talk about? No, no, that's all. I just uh, was hearing your conversation and just appreciate decided. you coming on. Thank you so much. All right. All right. Let's go to the next person, uh, Kenzie. I appreciate the raid. Thank you so much, W Kenzie in the chat, everyone. W Kenzie. Hey, Parkster. Oh, I wouldn't. I remember. I, that's just muscle memory. Uh, so, yeah. So do you, you, uh, So where do we leave off? What do you want to talk about? We we're talking about your title here. I'm, I'm, of course, you never convinced me. You never changed my mind because uh, my mind is set and I have my own ideals. I do disagree. Um, again, are you open to changing your mind? Well, my mind is open if you can provide me with something instead of using these contradic not contradictions, but uh, your ideals are just far fetched for me and it's just, it doesn't work for me. So, what, what doesn't whatever work about you it? say, if it works, then it will change my mind. What but doesn't work about done. what you I said? Well, you said a lot of stuff, but we're not going to go into that. Let's start up fresh, brand new. And perhaps maybe you can change my mind, maybe, but I don't think it's possible, but let's do it. What do you think? Go for it. Okay, for me, being gay is normal. I mean, not normal, but being gay is, is okay. It's great. It's okay. You love another person, that's fine. The issue, the problem I have is the act, the sexual act itself, not the fact that you love someone, but the sexual component of it, if that makes any sense. Okay, so why is gay intercourse wrong? Because of what they're doing. What about what they're doing is wrong? Do I have to describe what they're doing? I mean, yeah. should it just be PG? <laughs> you can do it in a PG you can do it in a PG sense. Um, well, the, are you just talking about gay men engaging in intercourse? Or are you talking about and yes, engaging in intercourse using the? Is it wrong for two like lesbians to engage in intercourse? What are they doing? I don't know. I never watched two lesbians have sex. What can they do? They're not inserting anything. They don't have a. I mean, uh, they can definitely do that, but um. How can they do that with what? They don't have anything. They have an uh, insertion point. They don't have an. Uh, you um, know. What, what can they do? I haven't watched it, so I don't know. They can kiss oral and that's it. They can't do anything else, penetrate anything else. Now they can use toys, but that's just toys. They're playing around. But uh, yeah, I don't want to get too graphic here, but you know what I'm talking about, right? What are you doing? You're waving it. Oh, okay. I thought you were talking to me. I'm, okay. My hands. Like, <laughs> like do, do you not realize what I'm referencing? They can use their hands. Their hands. They can use their hands. That's. Oh, I thought you were talking. I was like, what is he doing? I thought you were talking <laughs> to the chat. I I'm sorry. I thought you were talking to the chat. I was like, what is he doing? Um, they're using their hands. Okay. So that's that okay. That's nothing. That's yeah. That, that's just, that's just one thing, right? That's something that they have that they could use. Right. Is no, that wrong? Fine. No, that's not wrong. Nothing. No. Wrong so le that. lesbians, there's nothing wrong with being lesbian. No, I don't see nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with engaging in lesbian intercourse. Okay, uh, so it's just gay intercourse between two two men. Yeah, it's, it's just they're using their body part. Their you know. Is oral thing. sex wrong? Uh, it, it depends. Uh, the well, gay men engage in oral sex. Is it wrong? No, no, no. Oral sex is not wrong because it's, it's a pleasure thing. It's not wrong because you have uh, heterosexuals that do that. You know. I don't really like uh, okay, it. Okay, okay. So engage because that, some straight fun. people engage in anal, is it okay? Really, they do? Yeah, some straight people do. Oh, well, I missed that train because I didn't know that. But uh, what do you mean anal? Like a heteros... Oh, okay, okay. Well, wow, they, these people are doing everything. They're just curious. Oh, wow. Okay, well, anyways, I, it's, it tells you how the world has evolved. Uh, yeah, I still think it's wrong.
I say the act itself, it's wrong. Not the people involved, but what they're doing, because I okay, think- Okay, so, so straight people engaging in anal, that's wrong. Yeah, I just think the act itself is disgusting. It's, it's just pure disgusting because- Oh, okay, so surgery is disgusting. Is surgery wrong? No, surgery is not disgusting because you're, you're reconstructing stuff. You're, you're Surgery repairing. is not disgusting? That's... Have you seen surgery before? <laughs> no, we're, but that's needed. We're talking about something yeah, that's but it's needed. but it's disgusting. The other one is pleasure, whereas the other one is reconstructing, repairing. You're come on, apples and oranges. Let's not do that today. Is Parker. period sex wrong? Who does that? People do it. I've heard many people talk man, about doing people it. People are disgusting, man. What's going on with this world? They can't wait for two weeks. I mean, for a week. Period is only. What? <laughs> is it wrong? I can't even tell you if that wrong because I've never done it. I, I don't even know what the, what the heck. Why would you have sex? But, but isn't, the, isn't that According disgusting? According to the Bible, it's wrong because you're unpure during that time. It says it in the Bible, but I'm not a Bible. How are you girl. unpure? That's what it says in the Bible. You're, a woman is unpure when they have their period. A man should not engage in sexual activity with a woman. It says that in the Bible, yeah, but that's, I'm that's, not a Bible thumper. Yeah, you don't hold to the Bible, so yeah, it's fine. So I, I just know it says that in there because when I used to read it, but I'm just saying for me, I just think the act thinking about what comes out of the anus area, just just it's disgusting to me. It's an exertion. It's it's an exit point. It's not an entering point. Well, so, so is so is but the I vagina know, when we're talking about uh, the period. Yeah, but you're not supposed to have sex while you're in your period. Who does that? No, is it wrong? Why can't you wait? Is Five days you can't wait. You're impatient. Is it wrong though? Is it wrong if people don't wait? That's their choice. That's everybody. Has Sometimes free people are just really into it at that point. Dang, that's that's greedy. I mean, I, I don't know. It's desperation. I don't know what to call it, but I don't engage in that. I just think it's disgusting too. Because period. Even is it when wrong I'm though? You think it's disgusting? Is it wrong? I don't. I, I, I never thought of that, but no, it's, I mean, I wouldn't think it's Okay, wrong, so, no. so even if you think that being because gay, like feces. engaging in gay, even if you think that anal is disgusting, that doesn't mean it's wrong. What's well, feces? What's come out of uh, there is feces. People clean. You know that people clean, right? Not all the way. Have you, well, have a lot you, of people have you put do. Your head, have you put your head or a camera inside of a, a person a-hole? There's you? always going to be something left in their residue. Wait, wait, have you? No, I've seen it in TV, how the, the doctors would say, you know, there's residue. Why are you watching that on TV? Because I'm curious. I'm like, what's going on? What, the, what does the doctor... Okay. No, 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 because I wanted to know what the doctor does. Why do they have to put that thing in the guy's stuff, you know, when they're doing... What they call that? To make sure the they don't colonoscopy. have... colonoscopy. Yeah, I saw it one day. I was like, what is he doing? And, and I was curious. I was like, oh my gosh. And he was like, okay, well, you know, you need to really clean down there because there's still residue. And I was like, oh, so disgusting. Wait, these are, these are with the average oh person because these, God. like, okay. Again, in this case, this wouldn't be people who are, like, cleaning like that, okay? So, again, when it relates to, to, to gay men, they clean. And the doctor had clean. to show him how to clean it. But he says, you know, I can't get down there. It's not like I have a camera in there. And then the doctor said, okay, well, this is, he had to explain to the guy the way to clean it. And you cannot get all the way down there. But he was explaining to the guy. But to me, to be honest, I'm not trying to judge them. I'm just judging the act itself because of what comes out of the anus. That's yeah, what it see, is. But again, people can clean. And, and if nothing comes out. You keep saying that. But wait, wait, wait. People if, people, if people clean good enough and nothing comes out, is it, is it okay? I don't think nobody can clean good enough because, you know, have you ever seen inside of a human body how the anus works and how it goes into the, uh, have you seen it when you, when you open up a human body, do you see how, where, like the whole cavity? Have you seen that? You need to see it. Have you? There's no way you can clean all the way up there. There's no way. No, have you, have you cleaned? I mean, not cleaned. Have you seen? Fuck. What the fuck is wrong see, with I've me? seen it. That's what I'm telling you. There's no way you can clean all the way up there there's no way because the cavity the way it's struck the way the body is structured there's no way but again guys i think gay is nothing what is this conversation i'm sorry but like seriously it's about, okay if it is the case about, that someone wait you only have to clean a few inches wait if so if you only need if you clean a few inches right and someone's really small okay is it okay okay well if he's small he can't get far you know that i mean yeah so if you, you can him, clean good enough right Person's not feeling anything. I don't know why they're doing no, it. They'll anyway. feel something. They'll there's feel no something. Pleasure. Is it okay in that scenario? He's probably going to cheat on him because uh, there's no, no is, is it okay in that scenario? <laughs> it's not okay, period. Because Okay, but like, gonna... but like, again, you know, they can clean far enough Parker. there. Let they me, can let, clean let far enough there. 
You don't know that. You have no idea. He's if he small. Clean before. They can clean for you're, you're you're making assumptions. You're assuming. I'm that not he's making clean. an assumption. I think I think you can so you clean think far enough. So you everybody thoroughly cleans their a hole. Thoroughly. They 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 That's could do so far enough if the person's small enough, right? Clearly, right? Well, you don't know that. Some people don't even clean that far up up there. People they just wipe. They don't even go all the way inside. Again, You're we're talking about someone who's going to hold up, hold up, hold up, ascension, ascension. Oh my the gosh. Whole thing ascension, out, like flush it out. ascension. We're talking about. Thank you for the the paper crane. Thank you so much. We're talking about someone who's going to engage in this action, right? They know that, right? So it is the case that and someone I'm who's going to you, engage in this action okay. is probably more likely to do so than someone who doesn't engage in the action. Can I can I tell you something? That would probably sure. be out of ten, uh, out, one out of a hundred times, they'll probably do that maybe twenty percent of the times. But when have you ever seen gay guys? Oh, I love. If, it. if someone so cool. doesn't brush their teeth, is it wrong to on. engage in oral? Well, hold on. Let me tell you how gay guys work. My friend, he's a gay guy, and I said, "So, do you clean clean up there all the time?" He's like, "No. Sometimes I would just come out of the bathroom. And he just wants, and I, I I I can't do nothing but just give it to him." But he said, "Sometimes it smells. You just have to clean it afterwards." And I said, "Really? You guys do that?" Said, man, that is not going to be heart. accurately representing and, most people. And I say, man, I'm you're say, breaking but... my heart. Don't tell me you do sure, that. Sure, I'm not. Okay, like, ascension. Sometimes it happens. There are probably, yeah, said, there are probably some happens. people that do, right? But I appreciate the Franktastic. Thank you so much. But the same thing also so don't exists make it with straight. Seem like all of Hold them up. The same thing exists with straight individuals, out. right? Yeah, well, I, you know, I don't know why they do, the straight guy's doing that. But I would not greedy. make a generalization based upon that. That's, that's you just wild. said that straight individuals. You just said a straight. I said individual. some, right? I'm not. I wouldn't say the claim that straight individuals do this or gay individuals do this. Oh yeah, yeah, this. yeah. I agree. Right? I like agree. the way that you're yeah. referencing. I'm saying in the case in which someone cleans, is it okay? Because then it wouldn't be nobody, about whether or not they clean. I, I'm just telling. I'm, I'm answering your question. I don't think no one thoroughly, completely. If it's completely their thoroughly ass. cleaned, is it okay? Um, I, I don't think it's going to be clean. It, no, if it was possible to... There's like, no com- way somebody completely, can... Completely, if it was possible. Okay, tell me how they can do that. Tell me how. Uh, again, right, there are many methods, right? No, 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 you need to tell me how. Tell me how. Give I'm me not going to go. I, we're on a TikTok live. You think I can go into... De- okay, you want me to go into PG, detail? Me, you know, it seems like you know something I'm, I know. I'm not going to go into detail about the even, ways... Even, that, your com- even, even your people... We're on a TikTok... Yo, Ascension, know. we're on a TikTok live. I'm trying not to get bananaed. You know? Oh, okay. I see. You can look at the chat, though. Chat chat is referencing some. Maybe okay. the chat knows. Maybe the chat knows. I don't know. Well, I'm just I, I don't want to say too much on the live. Oh, you know so you mean? do know. But do you know? Yes. How come? So I need to research this because I, I don't really know. Since you can't say it here, then I'm going to have to research it. I don't want to but... go into talking about that too much because that's like, yeah, I, that's think what it, I think that's getting I, to I'm a point where it's too much. Look at the chat. Look at the chat. The chat's got you. What they said? They ain't saying nothing. They just said wrong. Look at the, wrong what about do you mean? What? Look at the chat right now. Oh, I just read something. It says wrong. She said they douche. I thought women douche. Bruh. Um, so y- you can do you can do so on both sides, right? Yeah, but douching does man, you know how Okay, I can't say that. Yeah, that's what I, I'm I saying. Can't... That's what I'm saying. You I can't really explain. Out for this conversation, uh, I don't want to get knocked out. <laughs> Guideline issue. Well, I shouldn't even say that either. But um Okay, that's just my stance on it, and I can't get out of it. I need to do further research because I don't think every time they do it, they thoroughly clean themselves. No, I no, know no but if it is the case, that, if it is the case that someone is thoroughly cleaned, right, is it wrong? Every single time they do it. No, just in this, one, we're just talking about one circumstance in which they do it. No, 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 no. I'm talking about. If, no, hold on. If you're gay and you have a a, a a partner, are you telling me that every single time they do that act? They're thoroughly clean. They flush it out all the way. I'm not saying every it. single person. I'm just talking in this circumstance. I'm not talking, we're talking about, about someone. We're hold up, we're just, one person. I'm okay. I'm talking about one person in one circumstance. Okay, this circumstance that they engage in intercourse, right? It is the case that they thoroughly clean. Okay, every single time. In this, no, I'm talking one time. Oh, just one time. Well, person engages in intercourse no, no, one well, time. Gay know, intercourse if, one time. If it's one time and they clean the whole cavity inside. Then I, I don't see it wrong, but I can't get so past it's not it. wrong in that scenario. So as long as you clean chat, yeah, yeah, right? Is just, it okay I, to engage in gay intercourse? Yeah, because it's about love. It's not about anything but love. But the only problem I have with that is just the activity. People in the what chat saying I clean every time. So every time, every I, they're time. lying. They're lying. They're lying. They're they're lying. So Absolutely yeah, I'm, I'm gonna say you're lying when you say you brush your teeth every day. Like. 
brushing your teeth, come on, you comparing that with someone that, you, have you ever seen gay men? They're very horny. They don't think about cleaning all the time. I'm telling you, back in the that day- That is such a wild like, generalization to make. That's not a generalization. You can that ask is such any a of generalization. Them here. You can ask any of them here that's honest. If Literally, honest, look at the chat, look at the chat. They're gonna tell you the truth if they're honest. They're not being honest. Oh yeah, you you just, know what? you're it's not okay. being honest. Okay Grace, I appreciate the that. subscription. Thank you so much. So whenever and you listen, say you brush your it's, teeth, it's okay. right? Listen, I, I don't believe listen. you. You're not being honest. It's okay if they do it. I just don't agree with the act. But it's okay if they so do it. So why not? Wait, no, you, you think it's okay in the context in which they clean? Yeah, but I don't think none of them ever clean uh, thoroughly all the oh, time. Oh, come on. That is Maybe wild. Maybe one time. That is out such of the a year. wild. That is a wild Maybe statement to say that like that like an enti the entirety time, of gay people just like don't clean. That's wild. And you know what? The only person that could tell me that they cleaned every time is the man above, or the doctor when he when he goes to the, <laughs> the place. You literally, you literally, doctor. you're not willing to the accept any evidence. Me, is it really clean? Is it empty inside? No residue. Because the doctor, I talked to the doctor. I said, doctor, let me ask you a question. Every time you do that, is there residue? He said, yes, all the time. They can't get far up, far up. They can't, it's impossible. And I said, you sure it's every single time? He said, yes, because it, the cavity goes all the way Ascension, up. Ascension, Ascension, no if, they, if they use a condom, is it fine if the condom doesn't break? They never use condoms. I've never met Come a gay Come on, guy please. Ascension, never. what are all these general, these are fucking wild generalizations. But it's, it's, but some of them do, some of them do. I appreciate the Corgi, thank you so much, I appreciate it. Like, if what are you talking about? Gay condoms, people do literally the all the time. People ever. Like, usually people do. Right? I, I don't know I what you're talking them. about. If they do, if they use condom, they're the cleanest person on earth. If they appreciate use the condom. confetti, thank you so much. Oh, okay, so... I, I give them high five. So, okay, so you think it's okay if they use a condom? Yeah, because they're not... They're not... Appreciate the subscription. Thank know, you so much. They're not... Okay, they're not, if you're gay and you engage in intercourse, as long as you use a condom, you're fine. W's. Yeah, because the condom... W's in the chat, everyone. Gay intercourse feces. is fine as long as you use a condom. It W's in the chat. The W's you know in the chat, everyone. The it doesn't touch their penal areas. It blocks it. W's the in the condom. chat, everyone. No. Gay intercourse no, is fine so long as you wear a condom. If it breaks, you're out of gas because you're going to get... You know, I'm just concerned for them. So, so I yeah, want there's them to nothing wrong if, if, if two I people are in a relationship. If two people are in a gay relationship and they just use condoms every single time they engage in intercourse, there's nothing wrong I know there, that's never going right? to uh, And, and it, seems like, it seems like your worldview is not stating that being gay is wrong, right? No, it's not wrong. I never said it was wrong. I said the activity is wrong. Yes, yeah, so no, the activity. I just talked about the activity. Engaging in gay intercourse, right, with a condom isn't wrong under your worldview. Well, it wouldn't be wrong, but I know they're not going to because Elizabeth, thank you for the subscription. You I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Look at the gay people in the chat saying that most times they do use condoms. Well, you hear what they said most times. They will never say every time. No, they they, no they're talking condoms. most people. Like I'm saying they were saying most people use condoms every oh, time. Oh, I thought you said most times. Well, I, mean, I, mean, I meant to say most people use condoms every time. That's what I'm okay, saying. Okay, that's fine. Well, you know what? To be honest, I applaud all the gay men that use condoms because that that com that thing that comes out of the butt. It's, it's not, it's, it's a serious thing, you know? You don't want, you just ate, and then next thing you know, your, your stomach do did straight all these people, Do straight processes. people always use condoms? No, the, your stomach did no? all this process, chemical process, and now it's releasing it out of your system. So and straight people thing, don't always use condoms? So like, why, why are we talking about gay people as if they've never worked no, condoms what do you when mean straight, straight people, people don't? Straight people are fine, as long as you're not doing that activity. Because you just said they, um, uh, the men do that activity to the women. Wait, why is vaginal intercourse okay if you don't use a condom? What, what is, you mean? Isn't, if I'm isn't there STDs to a man, you can get? Yeah, of course. Yeah, what, you want to talk about X STDs now? I mean, again, the idea is that there are some STDs that are more prevalent among straight people, and some STDs that are more prevalent among gay people. Yeah. So, so what? No, the idea is that you consider it to be quote unquote disgusting because of risks that you could have involved. Right? I didn't say the, risk. I said because feces come out of there. That's what is I that, said. Is that not what you consider a risk? Chris, yeah, well, you appreciate the subscription. Thank you so much. It, it is a risk in a, of infection and all that other stuff, but feces you know, come you know, out of there. Like a, I, I, again, I can give you research you that could indicate a lower bacterial food? load. Have you ever seen body process food? I mean, you need to know the biology. You need to go talk the to corgi. a doctor. Appreciate Thank you so much, you know Venus. Thank about. you. The body goes through a lot of Thank you for the money gun. I appreciate it, Ron. It goes down there. What? The body, once you finish eating food, it goes through a whole bunch of processed chemicals and all this stuff. Try to get that crap out of there. Okay? Once it's out of there, it just wants it to be out. 
right? And then you have somebody just come right behind you. Hey, I want sex today. You know, I don't care if you if you just release whatever. Let's have sex without no condom. <gasps> oh my gosh, God bless <gasps> that person. Um, Poor thing. Okay, now so like, got, okay, so so all again, the um, thing that you just released, the body just released all those toxins and chemicals and that whatever feces. Now you just put it in that poor man's, you know, beautiful penis, you know, now it's on his penis. And then he, and it's an yeah, open yeah, wait, area. So, so, so again, uh, all you know, I'm hearing I, here I don't see that. I just is, that, see is that your that. worldview ends with that gay people engaging intercourse so long as they use a condom and clean, you know how fine, beautiful the right? Penis and so long is. as that, and also yeah. it's okay for gay, for people who are lesbian to engage in intercourse, right? So it seems like you're okay with most gay, gay people porn. engaging in intercourse. I don't watch gay porn. Why would I watch that? When did I say you did? No, 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 not you, the, the lady. The lady, she said, oh, don't watch it. I was like, I don't watch gay intercourse. Why would I watch that? It's disgusting to me. Now, if they wear a condom, uh, like uh, Mr. Uh, Parkster say, you know, they or they do the, what's the, what did you say? Um, The douche thing that women do, which doesn't really go far up. They do that. So, I commend them. So again, them. it is the case if in both. they wear condoms both... and they're Hold clean, up. I commend them. You know. So and, and it's not wrong. So most gay intercourse is not wrong under your worldview. Well, if they do that, which I know, no, none of them do it. I can. Oh I can, my God, these I wild know generalizations. None of them do it. But these when these they are do absolutely it, wild generalizations. You, what, well, you have an anecdote. This is this is great. Trust me, bro. Dot com. Like you, you mentioned about the infertile. You want to know something crazy? About women. Listen, Parkster. Just like you said, infertile woman. One infertile woman. What does this say? I can't see. It's too. Trust what? It's too far away. Uh, trustmanbro.org. Trustmebro.org. Okay, you want me to look at that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trust that, me, that, that, yeah, that, that that's exactly what you just told me. I didn't say trust me, bro. Did I say just say that? Yeah, trust me, bro. That's, you just made a claim, and it's just a trust me, bro. Oh, that's a that's some sort of okay. I well, I don't know about that. I just it's not about. I'm, oh yeah, I did mention. I damn. I sometimes I don't even hear what I'm saying. But I said I do. I believe. I believe. And I, I could be, well, I would say 97% accurate with what I believe, okay? That majority, I would put at least 97% of gay men do not clean thoroughly, nor do they wear condoms when they're engaging in anal activity. And, and, and can, you, can, you, can you read this again for me? Yeah, you said trustmebro.org. I see it. Trust me, trust me. Can I get a trustmebro.org in the comment section, everyone? No, stop that's, saying that's that. That's an absolute trustmebro.org. Trust 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 you know exactly where I'm coming from here. Trustmebro.org. Trust can, can, trust can, can you Then accurately... give me a source. Based on what? On what? You whipped that right out of your ass, because, threw it at the wall, because... said, trust me, please, please, trust me, treat, please, hey, you trust want me. To me. Do a, you, you, hold on. Okay, forget about trust me. You want me to do a survey, and I bet you all of them will say they don't, they don't clean half of the time. All right, run, run, and run if, a peer-reviewed survey. And, and if, if your uh, chatters or what, what do you call these people, the commenters, if they were at, if, if they were being honest, they would tell you, you know what? I'm not gonna lie to you. I barely wear condoms. I barely flush out my my my. Dude, the feces trust me, bro. Dot org. Head. Trust me, bro. Dot org. No, please, ask them. please, do, do, trust do me. Trust right me, now. please, do a please. Survey right now, because you please, have a lot of trust gay me. men. No, please. listen. Do a survey right now. You have a lot of uh, men. I, I, I can't run a poll. I have to have a mod do it. Oh, you can't? Okay. Well, th that could tell me to, you know, we should do something. I, I mean, I, I'm, I'm telling you guys. Trust me, please, please. I'm, okay, me. forget it. Forget it. You know I'm telling the truth. You're just... No, pandering. no, you're literally... Yeah, yeah, you, you, you have know, no I'm substantiation for your claim. It's literally just a trust me, bro. It do you really have is. a gay... Do you have a gay... Okay, so tell me why you made that analogy, or not even that analogy, but the statement that an infertile woman uh, is the same thing as having... Uh, Two gay men not having a child. It's no, okay. no, no, I'm, well, not, I'm not saying it's the same thing. What I'm saying is that if someone is saying that it's wrong for two gay people to engage in intercourse because that intercourse does not lead to reproduction, well, also, okay. if I were to engage in intercourse with a woman who's infertile, that intercourse would not lead to reproduction. And I could engage in intercourse with a woman who's fertile, but I decided to engage in intercourse with a woman who's infertile. But that's, that's only if you want to have kids. Because there's, like, for instance, I know a couple right now. They've been together for over 20 years. They didn't want kids. She's fertile, but they didn't want kids. So and they that's don't not wrong. And it's not wrong for them to engage in intercourse and not reproduce. So the, the, that's a response. The infertile woman point is a response to people that say that it's in oh, accordance with reproduction. Argument. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it has nothing to do with just re – you don't be with someone just for reproduction purposes. That's, that's kind of stupid. So, yeah, uh, yeah. okay.
Okay, I get you. But that's pretty much my stance on it, guys. Now, I know I'm going to be attacked for that. And I, I'm okay because I'm very strong. You know, I'm stronger than than most of the, the LGBT community that's looking for a validation and acceptance. Oh, my God. Why do, you, why do you have to, like, turn it like that? Like, can you just give an argument, please? She just got community guideline. TikTok's going wild today. We're going to go to the next person. If you like my content, follow me if you haven't already. Tap that screen, everyone. Let's strike to 500,000 likes. If you want to help get out to more people as well, everyone, share the live, copy link, send it to a few people, everyone, a few friends, y'all. You already know the deal, everyone. We're going to go to the next person, y'all. Yo, what's up? How old are you? Hey. How old are you? 21. Appreciate the hand art. Thank you so much. What's your birth year? Uh, April. What year? What year? Oh, year. Oh. <laughs> 2002. All right, for sure. Do you think that being gay is wrong or moral? No, nah, I got a boyfriend. I'm pretty, we're chilling with it. Venus, much. thank you so much for the fireworks. But, I appreciate it. Thank you, you know so much. What? You know what I'll say? We have a lot of internalized homophobia. <laughs> it's real. It uh, de definitely does exist. Uh, but I appreciate you coming on. I'm just looking for people who disagree. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Okay. We're going to go on to the next person. Only send a guest request if you disagree, everyone. Tap that screen. Let's try to get the 500,000 likes, everyone. All right. For some reason, it's not accepting this person. We're going to go to the next person. Again, only send a guest request if you do disagree, everyone. <laughs> Yo, what's up? How old are you? Hello? Hey, hello? How old are you? I'm 70 years old. What's your birth year? 1948. Your math is terrible. Absolutely horrendous math. L, L math in the comment section, everyone. L math in the comment section. That math was like so bad, chat. Like that that was not even a hard age to like actually like like figure out real quick. That's just like tough, dude. I feel I honestly feel bad for them. Like our education system is so bad, y'all. Yo, what's up? How old are you? Hello? Yeah, how old are you? Uh yeah, I'm eighteen. What's your birth year? Two thousand three. Your your math is terrible too. L fucking math. Chad, what is going on? The math is so bad. L math, L math, L math in the chat, dude. This is this is what happens when we don't use calculators. I mean, when we use calculators. This, this is exactly exactly what the teachers were talking about. Yo, Jamie, thank you so much for the Venmo. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Yo, what's up? How old are you? Uh, Dante. Do you think that be, being gay is wrong or immoral? Uh, yeah. What's your birth year? Oh, four. For sure. Do you, why, why, why do you think it's wrong or immoral? Um... Probably gonna go down the fertility uh, argument. For sure. Do you think it's wrong for me to engage in intercourse with a woman who's infertile? Uh, no. But that doesn't lead to reproduction either. Yeah. Well, it's um, it's uh, not a. You can never get a. You can never be. <laughs> two men can never get pregnant together. But and neither could I by, with a woman who's infertile. Yeah, but by her nature, she's supposed to be fertile. What do you mean by her nature? Well, if she's not fertile, then something's wrong. Well, what do you mean by something's wrong? But And by the way, I could choose to be with someone who's fertile, but I chose to be with someone who's infertile. Yeah, well, if you're with someone who's uh, infertile, she's obviously, you know... Obviously, something's not right. Yeah, but is it wrong for me to choose to be with this individual when I could choose to be with someone who's fertile? Uh, no. Okay, I so it's so why is being gay wrong? Um, that's a that's a good one. I've never seen anyone else make it this far, so I'm no need to. Do I, I'm a. Go ahead and log off. Maybe I'll come on another time, see if I can make it a bit further. But, sure, uh, thanks for having me. All right, we're going to go to the next person. If you disagree, send a guest request right now. Please only send a guest request. If you disagree, we're just looking for some debates, everyone. Appreciate all the gifts, everyone. Appreciate it, y'all. 
If you want to help support everyone, the Venmos, I do get 100% of that. If you do want to help out everyone, TikTok does take away from the gifts. So if you do want to support me, Venmo is in my bio, everyone. Also, I get like, I, I see the messages and I can respond to them as well. So I do appreciate everyone. Thank you all so much. Let me go to the next person again. If you disagree, send a guest request right now. You already know. Let me go to the next person though, everyone. Yo, what's up? How old are you? I'm 7 and you gotta be 18 plus TikTok rules, everyone. 18 plus. <laughs> 18 plus, everyone. TikTok rules. All right. For some reason, it's not accepting this person. We're gonna go to the next everyone. Everyone, keep tapping that screen. Let's try to get to 100 uh, to 500,000 likes. If you wanna help get out to more people, keep sharing the live. Copy link. Send it to a few friends, everyone. Yo, what's up? How old are you? 20. What's your birth year? 8-1-2003. For sure. Do you think that being gay is wrong or moral? It's fucking wrong. Why is it wrong? Because how would you... Okay, you're asking this question, right? So you're saying it's right for someone to stick their big black uh, penis okay, inside. Okay, bro, you're definitely, you're definitely not. You're definitely not 20. You're I'm definitely not. I don't believe they're 20. Chat, I don't believe they're 20. You know what I mean? It's just like... That sounds like the 13 on Call of Duty. Yo, what's up? How old are you? Band kid, no, bro's a fetus. Let's be for real. Let's be so real, chat. Let's be so real. Bro's a fetus. Yo, what's up? How old are you? Hello? Okay, we're gonna go to the next person. It was the maturity, that's why. Yeah, that's that's actually that's mainly what gave it to me. Not even just the voice. Um, yo, what's look, up, no, look you? at my look at my hand placement. How old are you? I don't like that. Because look, it's the camera. Uh, do another Jubilee Parker. Maybe sometime if they have me want, want me to come on again, I I will do that. I already went on twice though. It was fun. I loved it. It was great. Yo, what's up? How old are you? Oh, for some reason, it's not accepting people. Thank you for the little crown. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. We're going to go to the next person. Again, only send a guest request. If you do disagree, we are just looking for some debates, everyone. Which episode? Liberal teens versus conservative parents uh, is the one you want to look up. And then liberal teens versus conservative teens versus moderate teens. I was in those two episodes. You can also watch people like Hassan, uh, Destiny, Vosh, and all them like re re react to it if you like the stuff from YouTube and stuff. But yeah, we're gonna go to the next person. Keep tapping that screen, everyone. I'll probably post a video of them reacting to it on TikTok here pretty soon. The Hassan's reaction was really funny to it. I'm not gonna lie. It was actually so funny. So I'm definitely gonna post that. Cause th that that's gonna be that's gonna be really good. But yeah, let me go to the next person. Only send a guest request. If you disagree, everyone, keep tapping that screen, everyone. Let's try to get to to five hundred thousand likes, y'all. Okay, for some reason, it's not accepting this person. We're going to go to the next. Again, only send a guest request. If you do disagree, everyone, we are just looking for some debates, everyone. Which reaction? I'll have to show you. Yo, what's up? How old are you? Hello. Uh, I'm 25. For sure. Do you think that being gay is wrong or immoral? Uh, before I answer that, uh, are you gay? No, like, I'm not. Uh, no, do you I think it's not. wrong or so, immoral? Uh, I think it's, it, it could be wrong or right. But uh, do you think what it's do you wrong? Think? Do you think it's wrong? I don't think it's wrong or right. Um, I, the same do way think I don't think that being wrong? straight is not wrong or right. Do you think it's wrong? Okay. Can you please tell me. I think it's yes, it's uh, wrong. Why do you think it's wrong? I feel like um, most most gay people are like um, it's from their childhood. They have like some some of them have been. Uh, went through a trauma or someone uh, or are being Can you give me any good evidence someone... that indicates that trauma causes people to be gay? Yeah, when someone get molested as a kid, most gays Thank are... Thank you for the cauldron, I appreciate molested. it. Thank you so much. Can you give me any evidence that indicates that it causes people to be gay? Yes, there are many. Just Go ahead, most, can you send me, can you tell me the title because, of a source? Because most of the gays, if you ask any gay person, like most of them, I'm not gonna say like, but most most of uh, the percentage are like being uh, are like uh, most of them have been through incidents when they were uh, they were young so yeah can you tell me the source yeah ask any gay person 
Can you, you tell me the it. source? What source should I look up? It's, there, there are no source. Like you, uh, you can you can Google it. But if you ask, no source, them, no yeah, source. So it is. It, so th is this the correct okay, one? Okay. So what? Uh, okay. So is this the correct uh, one? Are you saying? Okay. Are you saying that um, person are born as, as a gay person, like they are born that way? Um. Yeah, I think that someone's born with the characteristics to be gay, the same way someone's born with the characteristics to be straight, the same way someone's born with the characteristics to be rational. So, like, um, I think the source you just sent me is trustmebro.org. Uh, I appreciate. Thank you so much, Kunaya. I appreciate the appreciate this. Uh, the Venmo. Thank you so much. Yeah, this is the source, right? You are taking this as a joke. You said you are making a debate, but you are taking this as a joke. Well, would you like to provide me any source? If I am wrong, if I am wrong, you can uh, you can correct me and give like. But this is you are taking this as a joke. Can you give me any source? Yeah, you are taking this as a joke, so I'm not gonna uh, continue. I'm sorry. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I came to talk to you again. Appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. Uh, that is that is R.I.P. to the trust me, bros. R.I.P. to the trust me, bros. By the way, everyone, I, I'm going to make some trust me, bro merch. I'm going to do it. I just got to find like the, the type of t-shirt material and find a distributor, everyone. I'm making trust me, bro merch. It's going to happen. It's coming out. I'm so real, chat. I'm so real. I'm not joking at all. We're going to have trust me, bro, bro merch coming soon, everyone. I'm actually not joking with that. that I'm actually so serious, chat. I'm so serious. We're going to go to the next person. Again, only send a guest request. If you disagree, we are just looking for some debates, everyone. You already know the deal, everyone. I would buy. Yeah, I think I think that might go crazy. I like I like I would love that. I just want really soft material on the shirts. Like that's that's what I really want. I want something that I want to wear all the time and I can wear on live. So, we're going to have hella trust me bro shirts. Hella trust me bro shirts. W merch, W merch. Where will, will it be sold? I don't know yet. I'll figure it out. I got to figure it out. I got to figure it out. Okay, for some reason, it's not accepting people, but let me go to the next person. Y'all, I also wanted to, like, get that one link for um, for trustmebro.org, but it's already taken. It's already taken. Yo, it's a pal with you. How old are you? Hello? Oh, hey. I'm 61, born in 1961. For sure. Do you think that... For one year, I got an easy, easy math. I do not... So uh, I just wanted to tell you, I, I was, when I was a, probably your age um, or younger, um, I was a real hater, a real homophobe, and um, I found out that my best friend was gay, and um, it completely turned me around, and I just hope people are listening to your live, you know, some people that are haters will have an experience with your live and be able to turn themselves around before they hurt a friend like I did. I really hurt him. And once I found out that he was gay and he told me all the shit things I had said over the years and uh, for for four years, he was my best friend. And um, it, it really sucked. So anyway, I'm gonna get off. I know you want people that disagree with you and that's great, but I just want you to know that what you're doing is a worthwhile expense of your time. Take care, buddy. Appreciate it, thank you so much. Have a great day, have a great day. All right, y'all, we're going to go to the next person. Laura, thank you so much. I appreciate the cash. I have absolute W's for the for the guest, everyone. We're going to go on to the next person. Again, if you like the content, follow me if you haven't already. Let's go on to the next person, though. Again, send a guest request if you do disagree, everyone. Let's go on to the next person here real quick, y'all. W guest, everyone. W guest. Yo, what's up? How old are you? Um, I'm 19. I was what's born in 2004. For sure. Do you think that being gay is wrong or immoral? Um, I made a video about this. You can, like, go on my account and you can watch it. But, like, I think, like, if, like, first, wait, I want to ask, are you religious? I'm not religious, no. Okay, like, if you're a gay person, like, if someone is a gay person, and then they're, like, um, asking, like, why do people think... Um, okay, people, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm trusting the chat. People said that she said she was 14 in a video. All right. 
All right, yeah, we're gonna go. We're gonna go to the next person. I was already on the already on the fucking the the, the edge. Yo, what's up? How, how old are you? I, I didn't know which one it would be. Um, I'm nineteen. What's your birth year? Oh, it's like two thousand and four, bro. For sure. Do you think that being gay is wrong or moral? Alright, I'm a god believer, bro. But I I believe what people believe in. I believe like if you wanna be gay, that's your problem, bro. But I do believe in my God. But I'm trying to say, bro. Do not follow what people follow, but I'm here right now. But I'm trying to say, what's to wrong you, with engaging in gay intercourse? No, it's wrong. God did not create it. Um, Adam, um, even if Oliver, what I want to call it, bro. But God did not create it two men at the same time. God created a man and then another woman, bro. So it's kind of wrong. Okay, so how do you know that God exists in order to imply here that this is wrong? Because in the Bible, bro, you do not read. Read the Bible, man. Okay, I'll read the Bible. So Leviticus 25, 44 through 46 says, Your male and female slaves are to come from the nations around you. From them you may buy slaves. You may also buy some of the temporary residents living among you and members of their clans born in your country. And they will become your property. You can bequeath them to your children as inherited property and can make them slaves for life. But you must not rule over your fellow Israelites ruthlessly. Do you hold the slavery? Caitlin, I appreciate the Venmo. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. But I'm trying to say, but I'm trying to say to you, but woman, what what conceived you? A woman or a man? Wait, so did, did you hear what I said? Christian, thank you so much for the Venmo. I appreciate it. Did you hear what I said? Yeah, I heard what you said, bro. Do you want to respond to it? Like, do, do you hold the slavery? Do you think slavery is justified? <laughs> bro, why you wanna bring slavery and you're trying to all like gay shit in this? Shane, place? I appreciate the Venmo. Thank oh, you so much. Well, no, no because you, you said you said you believe in the Bible, talking, and I was just saying this. Here, this is a verse. You're a different thing here. Boy, Stop Brian. making people gay on this app and make. I'm people not straight. making people you gay. Need to make a man and a woman go together, bro. That's not yo, yo, right. Brian, 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 I'm not making anyone gay. Okay, I'm straight myself. Secondly, right? Why are you, why are you, you, said, you brought up the Bible. You brought up. Hold on, I appreciate the sunglasses. Thank you so much. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, bro. 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 I appreciate the hat and cowboy. Thank you so much. You brought up the Bible. I disputed the Bible, right, by bringing up a verse in the Bible that says that slavery is permissible. Do you think slavery is permissible? Ah, <sighs> oh my God, bro. I can't. I can't, bro. Go no? go to Pakistan and go to go to preach preach somewhere else, bro, and see what happened to you. Preach that somewhere else and see what happened to you, bro. Is that preach a threat? Preach that shit somewhere else and and see what happened. Is to that you, a bro. threat? No, it's not a threat, bro. There's well, well people, I'm gonna I'm gonna sit here and preach this, me. right? Because I can, right? And you know what's yeah, crazy? Go, go somewhere and preach it, bro. I am right now. We're doing it right now. No, go go to Pakistan, go to other places and preach that stuff. You know that you can watch my live in these countries, right? Yeah, I want to watch it, bro. There, there's there's coward people. If I see you in real life, oh, I'm happy going to birthday, show you, Faith! Bro. By the way, happy birthday, Faith! If, if a man and a woman conceive, you're gonna get a child, bro. If a man and a man go together, what they're gonna get? Okay, if what I engage in get? intercourse with an infertile woman, would that lead to reproduction? Oh my god. I'm trying no, to say something. No, is that wrong? You, bro. Is that wrong? <sighs> is it wrong for oh me to engage god, in intercourse bro. with an infertile woman? No. But it doesn't lead to reproduction. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Uh, you, you can kick me off, bro. Just take me off. Put Why someone else. I'm, I'm, say, I'm showing else, you. You said that being gay, engaging in gay intercourse is wrong because it doesn't lead to reproduction. Well, engaging in intercourse, me yes, engaging in intercourse with an infertile woman doesn't lead to reproduction. Therefore, that's wrong, right? But you, you need, you need like a woman and a, you need a woman and a man to conceive a baby, bro. Yeah, so like, are you gonna respond to my point here? I don't think you care about reproduction because you didn't care about it in the sense in which a man engages in intercourse with a woman who's infertile. So why should people tell me? Tell me real reason. Why should people be gay? Why should people be gay? I'm not saying people should be gay. I'm straight myself. I don't think people should be gay. I don't think people should be straight. 
right? It is the case that it's acceptable to be gay and it's acceptable to be straight. No, you know, answer my question now. I'm trying to put this question. Why should people be gay? Cause you're asking this. Why? <laughs> dude, dude, gay? thank you for the hands. I appreciate it. There's not a claim gay? that you should, should or shouldn't be gay. And there's not a claim that you should or shouldn't be straight. No, it but simply I'm just asking, is the case that some people are straight question. and it is the no, case that no, some people no. are gay. Please, please answer this one question. Why should people be gay? Answer, try to I'm answer not this. making that claim. I never said that. No, if, if everyone is gay, Ask someone that is gay, why, why should they be gay? Why should they be gay? Why should someone who's gay be gay? Yeah. Because they are already gay. Um, nah, bro. <laughs> yeah, they're already <sighs> gay. <sighs> yeah, so, so again, Yo. what's your point? Because I'm not making a claim that you people Yo. should be gay or should be straight. I'm simply saying that it's everyone, acceptable to be gay and it's acceptable to be straight. No. Do you think it's acceptable to be gay and acceptable to be straight? Yeah. Oh, they just left. Okay. We're going to go into the next person. If you like the content, follow me. If you haven't already, tap that screen, everyone. Let's go into the next person. Share the live copy link. Send it to a few friends, everyone. Yo, what's up, Powell? Do you? Hello? Hey man, you hear me? Yeah, how old are you? Hey, I was actually uh, twenty twenty three. For sure. Do you think that being gay is wrong or immoral? Well, I had another question for you, man. If that's okay. Is it related to the topic? It well, no, but I am just looking for disagreeers. Appreciate you coming on. I'm gonna go to the next person. Thank you so much. Let's go to the next person. Only send a guest request if you disagree, everyone. We are just looking for some debates. I apologize. If you have any questions for me, do join the Discord, everyone. You can ask it in the guest I mean in the Discord, everyone. That's truly unfortunate. Way too fast, too fast. Yo, chat. I'm trying to I really, you know, you gotta you gotta establish boundaries very, very very, very strictly here on TikTok. You know, um, that's, that's, that's how you do it here on TikTok now. I've, I've done it a long time Ask where I didn't. You what's up? How, how old are you? Hello? 18. Yeah. How, what's your birth year? Hello? What's your birth year? 2005. For sure. Do you think that being gay is wrong or immoral? Um, yeah, I do. Why so? I think it's immoral because, because of religion. Okay, what religion do you think is accurate in prescribing to us what's right and wrong about morality? Um, Christianity. For sure. Um, so how do you know how do you know that the Bible is accurate in prescribing this? I don't I, I so that, that's that's when it comes to like like in general, like I, I think because religion a big thing and you know what I'm trying to say, like like a lot of people like that's that that's the argument for most people. My argument would be like, I don't think it's I just don't think it's like, I don't think you were put on earth to, uh, you you made, you put on earth for, to be with a man and a woman. Like a man and a woman are supposed to be together, not a man and a man. Wait, why are men and women supposed to be together? Because that's how you reproduce. That's the point of life, to reproduce. So is it wrong for me to engage in intercourse with a woman who's infertile? Um, no, it's not. But that doesn't lead to reproduction. So it's not about reproduction. So it relates back to your religion. So how do you know the religion is accurate to pre in prescribing to us what's right and wrong about morality? I don't. I don't. Really. You don't know? Mm -mm. So then you don't know if being gay is wrong? I believe it's wrong, personally. You, well, uh, I appreciate the lock and key. Thank you so much. Well, I asked you to justify why you think it's wrong. And you said it's, uh, it's based upon religion. Right? I asked you, what's the justification for that religion? You said, I don't know. So if this relies upon the claim that religion is true, right? And that's unjustified. Well, then this claim is unjustified because its justification was unjustified. So again, the whole point here is that you have no good reason to indicate here that being gay is wrong or more. I ain't gonna lie, bro. You just got me there, bro. You got me there. All right. Appreciate you coming on, man. Yeah, appreciate you. All right, next person. Again, if you like the content, everyone follow me. If you haven't already, tap that screen. In the meantime, everyone, let's try to get to uh, 500,000 likes, everyone. Let's go into the next person. Again, only send a guest request if you disagree, everyone. Share the live, everyone. Copy link. Send it to a few friends. Thank you for the hand hearts. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yo, what's up? How old are you? All right. We're going to go to the next person. By the way, everyone, if you want to help out the stream or whatnot, if you want to, you can, you can subscribe. If you would like to, you get access to the sub-only chats I put on every single live. Or you can Venmo. Uh, it's in my bio, everyone. I get 100% of the proceeds when it relates to Venmo if you do want to do that, everyone. Uh, again, it's in my bio, y'all. 
Yo, thank you for the chasing the dream, Mar E Mark. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you for the forever rose as well. I appreciate it. Absolute W's in the chat. Absolute W's for the chasing the dream. Absolute W's for the forever rose. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yo, what's up? How old are you? Okay. Um, thirty years. Thirty. Yes, sir. Appreciate the dinosaur. Thank you so much. Yeah, do you think that being gay is wrong or immoral? It's wrong. Yeah, why is it wrong? Joshua, thank you for the cash app. I appreciate it. Thank you so much, Joshua. Uh, the reason I say it's wrong... Heather, thank you as well for the dynamo. Against... Okay. The reason I say it's wrong is against religion. And it's against biblical. No religion is huge. Another thing, uh, the reason why it's wrong, people, you, there's what you call right and freedom in the United States or the European nation. We have a lot of freedom. And this freedom, it has led to land behavior. Thank you for the fireworks. I appreciate it. Thank you, Jacob. Thank you for the description. Land behavior. And uh, this land behavior, some of them, they contradict the, the humanistic behavior. So are you saying that being gay is, is, is a learned behavior? Lily, thank you yeah, for the demo. I appreciate it. The, the reason I say it's a land behavior, uh, you know, we are doing a comparison here in the United States or the European nation because the UN supports it. Go to Africa and talk about gay. People don't like it because it's a land behavior. And there are people, the, the culture and the, tra the traditions doesn't support it. But because in the United States, you have a lot of freedom and there's what we call pursuit for happiness. So people pursue it for happiness and they learn behavior and it changes their mind. Since it's there, we accept it. We accept people who express themselves wherever they ex express, we accept it, but it's wrong. Ashley, thank you so much for the Venmo. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. So I would dispute the idea that it's learned behavior. I think it's something that's like biologically ingrained. We can see genetic predispositions towards people being gay um, in terms of these particular notions, right? And we see other types of genetic predispositions towards being straight and other types of sexual orientations as well. So it seems like yeah. sexual orientation has some sort of basis within the context of like the genome, right? Or things that we don't necessarily determine, right? Uh -huh. So um, that would be something to reference. Um, so secondly, yeah, right, cool. um, if it relates to religion, I appreciate the crown. Thank you so much. How do we know your religion is accurate in describing to us what's wrong about morality? Uh, as I said, you know, religion is huge, but you talk about biblical. If you are a Christian, anything that the Bible forbids is not good. But in the Bible, men are made with a free will. You have a free will to choose what is right and what is wrong. And that's what I said. You can, some, some stuff, uh, people change because of it's a land behavior, like uh, sexual orientation. That's something that somebody can just come up with it and say, oh, I want to be miss, and not mister. That's a behavior. It's land. Yeah, right? so you just keep receiving the claim that it's learned behavior. I'm going to dispute that, right? And also, like, I would just ask for, for evidence, right? Um, I don't think that there's evidence that's indicating that's, that to be true. That's why I dispute that. The evidence that it's a land behavior. As I said, uh, when you do the study, there's a thousand faults that people uh, in the United States they gonna change and express as gay or lesbian. But when you go to study, as the study tells in the African countries, it's rare because they don't believe that it's okay to be gay. And that suggests that it's something that people, because it's a, the community or the society allows, they learn through it and they accept to do with it. Appreciate the sunglasses. Thank you. I'm confused what your argument is here. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, like, how do, how do we say that the religion is accurate in describing to us what's right? Uh, actually, the humanistic. Carrie Ann, I appreciate the Venmo. Thank you so much. In the humanistic or the nature of the human being, this always a kite we have what you call the pillars that uh, like the drawbacks the humanistic or the drawbacks to the society to the drawbacks of a, a constitution there's always a guideline and the guideline even if in the united states in court we stand we use the pipe as a guideline to draw our laws 
and our constitution. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't use the Bible, right? I think the Bible is not accurate in describing to us what's right and wrong. I appreciate the swan. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yeah. Like, like so like, um, again, what, what tells us that the Bible is accurate? That's what I was asking you. It wouldn't be the constitution or the history. I don't care if they use it, right? I'm asking what tells us that it's accurate. Uh, actually, most even if you compare, you do the comparison, like the philosophers, they always also uh, drive towards something, even if they do study. But there's something that you cannot contradict. The creation, even if you, you learn about evolution and anything, anything else, you will never contradict evolution because there is always evidence of creation. So the Bible is right. And anything written in the Bible is right. But I, I, I don't see how we, we, we took that. How'd you get that everything in the Bible is right? Uh, you know, it depends how you interpret it. Because to understand the Bible is about the Holy Spirit. Other people do contradict the Bible because of different religion or different beliefs. It's accepted. But the Bible yeah. is right. Okay, I, I don't really see what your point is. Is there is there anything else you want to talk about or add? Uh, that's that's it for today. I know. All right. uh, I appreciate you coming on, man. Wrong, but it's accepted All because right, for it's sure. a land behavior, and that the society supports it. All right, for sure, for sure. We're gonna go to the next person. Every, I'm really confused what their argument was. To be honest with you, everyone, I couldn't really couldn't really attribute what that was. But we're gonna go to the next person. Only send a guest request if you disagree, everyone. <clears throat> we are just looking for some debates, everyone. What is wrong with I'm just like coughed there. Um, everyone keep tapping the screen, keep sharing the live, everyone. Let's try to get to a thousand shares, everyone. Copy link, send it to a few friends. We're gonna go to the next person again. Only send a guest request if you disagree, y'all. Yo, what's up, how old are you? Yo, hello. How old are you? I'm twenty two. For sure. Do you think that being gay is wrong or more? One hundred percent it is wrong. Why so? So to first, for my first uh, argument would be that religion proves that it is wrong, but I can also prove to you that being gay is wrong because people are not born gay, people are turned gay because of their environment. And I can 100% prove that to you. Okay, so you can uh, you get, try to give me proof for the, the environmental claim, and then also you're gonna have to give me proof of the religious claim. Okay, cool, can you see me? Oh, uh, no. You cannot see me? No. Okay, let me see. Okay, cool. All right, let me, let me turn this off. All right, so the reason why, first of all, I'll, I'll, I'll prove to you that is, it is an environmental thing first, is because if you look at the statistics of who actually is gay, you will see that 80% of the people who actually are gay and who identify as being gay and who identify as other genders and any and anything in that category, 80% of them come from being Gen Z and anything younger than that. So if you look at that, most of the people that are actually gay are people that are just saying they're gay. For example, I have a transgender sister. I don't shame her for it, but I, I, I know that she was not born that way. And that that is 100% something that I have get come to notice. And if you look at it, people, people, 80% of them being Gen Z proves that most people aren't born gay. A lot of these people who say they're gay, they're not even- No, it actually gay. doesn't. So this is actually, if we look back throughout society, there were times in which people who were left-handed were not accepted to the same degree as they currently are within the context that, of society. That, that is ridiculous. Right? So if we look that at the ridiculous. statistics, if we look at the statistics of people who are consider, considered left-handed within the context of society, it was significantly less at a particular point when they were unaccepted. And as they became accepted, it shot up to around 11 to 12 percent, right? So the similar strides and increases in the population that we see today, right, can easily be explained by the fact that people are more accepted in coming out as gay. Yes. Okay. So, and, and, this, and this is something that, sure, you could, you could say, yeah, they were left-handed. People didn't like it. Now they accept it. Cool, there's a percentage of more left-handed people but if you look at the actual percent of people that are actually gay that that say they are gay a lot of them actually are just identifying as being gay so I'll, for example i'll tell you that 
It's, no, no, no. The, the point I'm saying is that no, 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 but what, Gen no, Z what, is significantly more accepting. Therefore, no, there are going to be more people that we perceive to be gay within the context of society because they're more likely to come out. Okay, so this is a question I have for you. What percent of people that say they are gay, what percentage of them do you think actually are having intercourse with other men? What percentage? Do you think the 80 out of the 80% of people of the Gen Z people who Wait, say- Wait, I don't know that, how many people are having intercourse. Okay, I, I don't so, have stats so you on that. Wait, but I wouldn't know that about straight people. Like, what percent of straight people are engaging in intercourse? I don't okay, know. Okay, okay, okay. So this is what I have to tell you. So how, what, what, how do you identify someone if they're gay? What would you say a gay person is? What is the definition of someone who is gay? What okay. would you say? So in like a, we can use one in a broad connotation society or use one that I think would be more applicable. Right. The one I think is more applicable is going to relate to like the genitalia and it's going to relate to like the cultural and social norms. Right. But if we want to relate to like a general connotation, the it would just genitalia? be like attraction towards the same sex. That makes sex. no sense. What do you mean? What, what yeah, do you it's mean? Gonna, yeah, it's going to relate to like uh, like genitalia. Right. In okay, many circumstances. How? So, so, That's going to be that. a huge part of it. Explain so, that. Yeah. For example, right. Um, if someone is intersex, right. And they let's say they're true going adult intersex. They have both sets of genitalia. Right. They could have. Uh, by the way, you can't do that on the live. They have XX oh. cro they have XX chromosomes, right? So you'd consider them biologically female. Yet it is the case that they would have genitalia in which you would consider to be male type genitalia. In this okay. sense, you would say that I wouldn't be attracted to any individual who is in this scenario as they have male genitalia. Appreciate the glowing jellyfish. Thank you so much. Even though they meet the other conditions for what you would consider to be a woman. Appreciate that mustache. Thank you so much. So that's kind of like a point I'd reference. I appreciate that mustache. Thank you so yeah, much. It's, but, it's a lot more about the, but, but, but not the gene, like the, people... the chromosomes and the gametes. It's more or less about the genitalia and the cultural and social norms. How, how is it about the genitalia? That makes no sense. Everybody's born with the same genitalia. Nobody's, you can't say someone's gay because of their genitalia. I have Oh, no, 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 no. I'm saying the genitalia they're attracted to. Sorry. Okay, but, but that's a very broad statement. That's a very, very broad statement. That's For example, a, not really. Yes, because a lot of people that I the reason why I know this is going on is because I have a sister who's in this community. She goes to a school that's way more accepted of this community. And a lot of these kids are, are not actually attracted to that gender. They're not actually attracted to them. They just like, How do you know them. what they're actually attracted to. I could because say you're not actually no attracted to women. To actually you're actually attracted tell. to men. See, I, I think you're just repressing the fact that you're gay and you're, you're actually hiding that. What you you understand that you just said that about gay people? I could say the same thing back to you. Do you not realize that I just did that to you? I did the what same I'm, thing that you what just What I'm did. saying is, I could tell you right now that I'm gay. I could say I'm gay, and then you would, and then for you, you would count that as someone who's gay. If I told you right now I'm gay, you'd be like, "Yup, he's no, gay." No, I don't. Be, I don't believe you're gay. Okay, so what? So what percentage of people actually are gay? What do you think the percentage is? Because I don't even think you know what the percentage is. I mean, well, we don't know because people haven't come out across the board throughout the context of society internationally. But in the United States, it seems to indicate up to like 20% of people are part of the LGBTQ community, a part of in terms of Gen Z, right? But the, the case is it's considerably lower for other generations as they are not as like accepted in coming out as Gen Z has been. Okay, but do you realize that just by 80% of people who are gay being Gen Z, that proves right there that it's not actually, it's just a thing where they feel accepted. I'm telling you people. Yeah, yeah, wait, it is accepted. Yeah, since they're more accepted, they're more likely to come out. So they're more likely in society to be, to be acknowledged as gay as prior they would not have come out or told anyone. Okay, so do you, do you count somebody who is transgender as being gay? Not necessarily. I mean, someone can be trans and gay and someone can be trans and straight. Exactly. So for all the people that identify as gay or non-binary or, or whatever that is, do you, are you adding them into this category? Into what category? Into the category of, of gay people. Are you adding people who are transgender into this category? So, so again, when I was re referencing the LGBTQ community, I was saying the numbers we have for that in terms of gay people, right? I could give you different numbers, but that's just how they calculated it. It's just, I, 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 I will tell you that there are people who are homosexuals. There's 100% people who are homosexual, whether they wanted to be homosexual because their friend was, or whether they just, wait, don't people know, don't they, just choose to be gay. Could you choose to find me sexually attractive right now? Fuck no, no, no. That's, no, that's, so, so it's not a choice. It's something that is like not determined by you. And to make is that sure there because you're saying is gay wrong is being gay wrong 
I'm not trying to tell you that everybody who is gay just is gay because they saw someone being gay. That's not what I'm trying to say. I'm just trying to tell you that a lot of people are only becoming saying that they're gay because they see other people around them being gay. They see that it's acceptable. They who? Go, for example, who? my sister went to a school because she felt more accepted there and everybody there is 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 gay or they're transgender. So all I'm telling you that all I was trying to tell you is that a lot of people are saying that they're gay now because it, it it's like it's it's like for example in life the main the main reason of, of life is to be a part of something. That's what everybody's life is about. You they a lot of people who who study these kind of things, they say, what's the more, most important thing of life? All right, well, most people want to be a part of something. That's the number one thing. People like, I don't, I don't know what the word is that they use for it, but they, they want to be a part of something. And this is the easy- why, why, would people, why would people want to be discriminated or hated? It, but it's not, I'm telling you, it's not like that. I'm telling you, I know- It literally is. Like people I go through bullying, people go through hatred, right? Because of the fact that they're gay. Right? I would why would they, you, why would they, why, again, why no, would people who are wrong. religious, wait, no, you know, the people who consider themselves um, like, like quote unquote, ex-gay, right? And then they still have sexual attraction. They can't get over it, right? Because it is the case that you can't get over it. It is just who you are. Right. So those people, if they could choose to not be gay, they wait, hold on. Let me finish. 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 If they could choose not to be gay, they would not be gay. Okay. Conversion therapy. There are many people throughout the context society that have been in that particular circumstance. I could tell, I literally could tell you the same exact argument for people who decide to be trans. And then all of a sudden they're like, yo, I didn't want to do this. So you're bringing up a statement that's one for one percent of people. It's less than one percent. You're bringing up the a transitioner is less than one percent. Appreciate the crown. Thank you so much. You're bringing up a minority situation of, of wait, you small... just brought up a minority situation. You're talking about less than one percent of people who are trans. No, 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 no. What I'm telling you is that the argument that you just made, you just brought I, anybody could make an argument like that. You're bringing up something that most people don't do that. Most people don't uh, t turn back from being trans and then they're like, or ex-gay people and then they just can't fight the homosexual um um feeling that they're getting you're bringing up a situation that's a small percentage of people most people don't he just got he just got community guideline just got community guideline tiktok's been going crazy today everyone keep tapping that screen everyone let's try to get to 750,000 likes if you want to help get out to more people everyone copy link send it to a few friends we're gonna go into the next person though only send a guest request if you disagree everyone only send a guest request if you disagree, y'all. Yo, what's up? How old are you? Oh, hey, sorry. I was just trying to get your topic. We're all good. All right. I'm looking for people to disagree. Appreciate you coming on. Thank you so much. We're going to go into the next person. Again, only send a guest request. If you disagree, everyone, we are just looking for some debates, everyone. We're going to the next person. Keep tapping that screen, everyone. Let's try to get to 750,000 likes, everyone. Yo, what's up? How old are you? Hello? Hello, how old are you? 35. For sure. Do you think that being gay is wrong or moral? I think you should be who you are. If you're gay, you're straight, you're bi, you're trans, whatever. Be who you are. Be happy. It, no religion states that you cannot be gay. It doesn't say that you have to be who you have to be. I don't believe that it should be. All right. I am just looking for you... people who disagree. I appreciate you coming on, though. Thank you so much, Anthony. I appreciate it. We're going to go on to the next person. Again, only send a guest request if you do disagree, everyone. Again, we are just looking for some debates, everyone. Only do send a guest request if you disagree, all. Okay, we're going to go to the next person. Someone said taking Dean's content. I, I've been doing this for way longer than Dean. <laughs> Yo, Angie, I appreciate the, appreciate the Venmo. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Yo, what's up? How old are you? Are you driving? Hey, can you hear me? Uh, yeah, you're on my TikTok TOS. Everyone, eighteen. You got. You can't be. Uh, you can't be driving on the live TikTok TOS. Everyone, we're going to the next person. Only send a guest request if you disagree. Everyone, keep tapping that screen. In the meantime, everyone. Yo, what's up? How old are you? Um, can I just say something real quick? You got to be eighteen plus. TikTok rules. Eighteen plus. TikTok TikTok rules. Eighteen plus. Everyone. Dean clone so real. Dean clone. I am a Dean clone. Dean clones in the chat, everyone. Spam Dean clone. Yo, what's up, Paul? Do you? Spam Dean clone in the chat, everyone. Dean clone in the chat. All right, we're going to the next person, everyone. 
Yo, it's a Paldi? Yo. I'm 18, man. What's your birth year? Uh, 2005. Do you think that being gay is wrong or moral? It is wrong, bro. Why so? Sad, bro. You're jeopardizing the human race. You don't need gay people. You need people to reproduce. People who are gay can reproduce? Is it wrong for me to engage in intercourse with a woman who's infertile? No, I said, that's not what I said. I said gay people can't reproduce, period. Uh, so, the, um, again, the, is it wrong for me to engage in intercourse with a woman who's infertile? In that scenario, no, we cannot it, reproduce. It doesn't mean, yeah, it cannot reproduce, but it doesn't mean... Is you're it wrong? You take, no, it's not wrong, but listen here. You're so, taking so once, again, you engaging in intercourse... You're cutting me off. All right, go ahead. Engaging in intercourse that doesn't lead to reproduction isn't considered immoral under your view? No, it's not. But listen, so intercourse with a man is not the same as intercourse with a woman. Also, people can have intercourse just for fun. Not necessarily doesn't have to be, you know, with somebody that is fertile. But the point is, you know, with a relationship with a man, man with a man, it will never lead to a reproduction. But when you say, oh, a woman can be infertile, that is not very common you know a woman is on fertile what how many times 20 percent uh about 17.5 percent across the entire world yeah see that's not the same as being gay if you're gay that's uh, not being gay makes that's... up about the same percentage of the population so it is pretty similar right but uh, what i'm talking but, about you know, see but it adds to it right i mean being on fertile can what what does it come from some people just genetically on fertile some people you know they go on with their life and then at a certain point, a woman comes infertile anyways. But it's not the same. When you choose to be gay, you choose to cut whatever sperm you have that going into a woman for reproduction. Not only that, but um, what makes you think that a man liking a man is normal or should be standard? Because there's nothing wrong with two uh, gay men engaging in intercourse because it's consensual and adult. So if we want to relate to this real quick, right, my, my question is that if you think it's wrong for two gay people to engage in intercourse because that intercourse does not lead to reproduction, well, then wouldn't the same thing be true for individuals in which who are straight and one of them is infertile as their intercourse doesn't lead to reproduction? I already answered that question. and I told you no, and I told you why, because I'm telling you, you're taking what? What is it? One out of five cases, that's, that's going to happen. No, no, no. Again, again, I'm talking about this particular scenario. Yeah, well, by what, why would you always go to the 20% of the scenarios? No, 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 be, be, no, again, you're talking about 20% of the scenarios when you bring up gay people, right? We're talking about, in this scenario, there is no way that they we're will talking reproduce. About, no, we're talking about just gay people, then we're talking about 100%. We're talking about gay people. Oh, he just got removed for community guidelines, too. Chat, community guidelines violations have been wild today. We're going to go to the next person. Only send a guest request. If you disagree, everyone, keep tapping that screen, everyone. Let's try to get to a million likes. If you want to help get out to more people, share the live, everyone. Yo, what's up? How old are you? I'm 33. For sure. Do you think that being gay is wrong or more? If I answer, are you going to let me give my opinion, or are you just going to shut it down like you shut everybody else down? Maya, thank you so much for the Venmo. I appreciate it. Do you disagree with the topic? I disagree with what you're promoting with the question, why? So why did you put the question why in there? Um, I'm just looking for people who disagree with the topic because uh, I'm asking so, like why they hold so that position. So you don't need, you don't need to, to put why you don't need to put why in there. What What are you complaining about? I'm confused. Did you ask me? Uh, if, did you ask me if is gay, is being gay wrong? Or did you mm -hmm. ask me why? It, or did you ask me why is being gay wrong? Yeah, why is being gay wrong? Okay, so ask me that. <clears throat> Let's go ahead ask me that one because I am a gay male and I'm also a straight male, so that makes me bi. I'm into both. I'm both. Into yeah, so male you can just female. be bi, and that, there's nothing wrong with that. Okay. So what I'm asking you is why did you put why in there instead of is being gay wrong? Because I'm asking their position. Who's like, the I want them to clarify what their position is, give reasoning. Who's your followers? No, people who are debating. Okay, so you want this attention, right? What do you mean I want this attention? Well, why did you leave the why in there? Is being gay wrong? I want them to clarify, like, reasoning. Like, not right. just say that it's wrong. I want them to give me reasoning why it's wrong, because it's a debate. So that gives, that gives a little bit more of question of what, what's this all about. It's interesting, right? It causes, it's a big topic of concern, right? 
no, I want them to justify the positions because I think that they have unjustified prejudice. Right? I think that unjustified prejudice is harmful towards society. Is it? Yes. Okay. So can I ask, like, what are you doing with your followers, with your attention? Where Do you have a... um? Do you have like a community? Do you have a, um, what is it? Do you, do you have like a charitable donation place? That, do you have a, char a charity that you've funded? I, I mean, I can give money to certain like charities and whatnot. Like what's the, yeah, what, what's can. the point do you're you? asking that? Anybody Appreciate the can. subscription. Thank you so much. I haven't quite you, yet now. You haven't done any of that? No, I haven't. I haven't sent money to a charity yet. You have not. Oh, okay. So this guy, Parker, has not. What you're saying right now, Parker, is that you've never donated to any fund or charity from the TikTok lives that you're doing. Yeah, no, I haven't yet. Okay. Do you think that's an issue? No. Why not? I don't see why it would be an issue. Can you tell me the issue? So where is the income going that everybody's donating to you? In my bank account. Your bank account? Yep. And do you feel you deserve all of this? Do I deserve all of this? Yeah, I uh, appreciate uh, the subscription. Thank you so much. Well, well, I mean, I yeah. put a lot of work into it. So maybe to a particular extent, maybe not everything, but sure. Yeah. So you only want people who disagree with you. Appreciate you don't account. want anybody who agrees with you. So that means you're just trying to get some kind of attention to go right into your bank account, right? We're talking about debates. And I, I did this for years before I made any money. I'm, I now make I'm money off of it. But I did this I for years without thing. making. I think what you're doing is great for your income. It's causing a lot of uh, attention. It's giving you a great. How much? Let's ask. How much? No, I'm not saying make? for my income, right? I, I I did this way before I made money off of this. I did this well, for how years. How much do you make from this? Because you're doing a great job. From a business point of view, you're doing amazing. You're getting a lot of controversy, and you're really helping out your income and your bank account. I'm not doing better. this because of the income. I'm doing this because so I think that for? it's beneficial. Appreciate so the subscription. Then, Thank you so much. There are m many other things that I could do that could get like, you know, viewers and like income for me. I could right. do many different things on TikTok that get significantly more people coming in. I find purpose in this because it actually like does something in society for the good, for the better of people. Appreciate that mustache. Like I find meaning and purpose in this. Appreciate the count. Yes. Anybody could do that, but are you doing that? What do you mean? Am I doing that? You just said any, did you, did you say that any, that I could go and do anything that would help any? I said I that I could go do like some random thing on TikTok. I appreciate that, Elizabeth. Thank you for the subscription. That isn't related to like politics or like anything that I would see as meaningful. And I could make way more money than I do currently now. Right. Okay, but I so find the most meaning in doing this. Appreciate the hand art. You don't think you're getting any attention at all? That's getting no, I'm a getting lot of money. I'm getting attention. Right. But I, I'm not, I thank you for the little crown. I appreciate it. I'm not doing it because I like on my own self sort of standpoint, I want attention from other people. Right. My main drive the, for the doing wrong people. What's up? Do you think you're hurting the wrong people? I'm me being a part of the LGBTQ community. Like, are you hurting the wrong people? Because it really triggers me. It doesn't help me. It doesn't benefit my life. I have a lot of depression. And when I see this, all I want to do is cry. I'm a 33 year old male. I shouldn't be crying because I see this stuff. Right. Thank you for all the gifts, everyone. Uh, so I, I think that's, I think that's really bad, and I think that is definitely unfortunate. I appreciate the subscription, but I do think that there is a greater amount of good achieved from this live by the limiting of discrimination, right? Okay. Um, uh, based upon like these types of lives that exist. So although it could show people that this type of homophobia exists, it also allows us to. I appreciate the handout. Thank you so much. Acknowledge reality and acknowledge these problems within the context of other people, so that we can make these problems better off. So how can you help people? And there's going to be another person in these line. Conversations, so let's, let's go. These debates. Okay. It really does help. So who's your prime person? Who's your, who are the people you are trying to help? Like, listen to your story. Who do you want to save their lives? Who are you trying to help? Who are, what's your, you're the superhero. Every, everyone. I'm not trying to be a superhero. I want, I want everyone to be better off. But you're right? hurting is, is, it, is it really like, hold up. Is it, is it like really like me saying that I have superpowers because I want things to be better off for people across the board? Am I allowed to say that you're a superhero? I mean, yeah, I think that's really what's going on. You're a great person doing all this kind of stuff, but you're hurting people at the same time at the, you're at the expense for other people. Yeah. You're, so like you're, you're using people. superpower, superhero in a connotation as like a, you're supposed to be like negative, right? Uh, like in a well, negative connotation. Is it not negative? Because I am hurt. hurt from this. Me being a part of the LGBTQ, is that, is that what this is about? Are you promoting? Help it absolutely is, them. but like, would you like me to bring up people who are gay who have been absolutely helped by this, right? Like, I mean, the the point I'm getting to is that we can see 
a lot of help, right, from these types of li lives. I'm not saying that there's no type of hurt that couldn't come from this, from people being able to see this stuff like this. But my point is that there's a greater good achieved from this type of stuff. All right. Well, I appreciate your time. Thank you for, uh, thank you. Appreciate the description. Thank you so much. I got you. I got you. Yeah, go ahead. Go get the next person, please. Yeah, I'm, wait, I'm confused before you do. What, what's wrong? Right? Like, no, no, like no. That's specifically. That's there's another person in line. You got to do this as a business. So go ahead and promote your income. Get your uh, bank account. I'm not. I'm I, not trying to do that for that reason, right? Like I, I just. I, I'm giving you a platform to be able to like speak these types of concerns. If I was solely concerned about just making money or getting people up, you would have already been off the live by far by now. Appreciate well, then why do you so want much. to keep coming to me? Why do you want me here? Well, because because I want to address concerns like this because I think it's important to do so. But if Appreciate you're trying to you, help you. people who are bi, gay um trans all i mean you're you're talking about all these different topics right and so if i'm hurt and i'm a part of that community you're not helping me you're you're taking away from me to save who these people right here like guys here wait uh, do, do you want me to bring up people who are gay someone bring said people something who are about, by who are my friends people that i've i've engaged with all the time stop li listening to it if it bothers you so much like okay okay so, i'm just gonna i'm gonna i'm just gonna start bringing up people thanks hey. but, okay um Anthony, um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do something that I haven't done in a while. I'm going to turn my camera on, okay? Because you're mentioning issues that you have, and I want to mention issues that I have because I want to relate to you, okay? So I'm going to turn my camera on, and I'm going to explain to you why that's difficult for me, okay? I, so, 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 if so I can turn mine on, I can turn mine on, but I don't know how to do it. Well, just uh, press the button. Press the button uh, on your... Um, oh, there we go. Uh, Got yeah, it. okay. All right. So there I have go. body... So, so I have body dysmorphia. Okay, no one. This is the first time I, 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 that I'm mentioning it. Okay. To look at myself, okay, to look at myself in this little window is very difficult for me. All right. Mm -hmm. And my bisexuality has contributed partially to that. Parker what do you mean? has been okay because I was great as a child. That has led to sexual trauma where I have been a repressive bisexual, where I have not been comfortable with who I am. Okay? Parker has helped me deal with that. Why is that? Because he has accepted me as who I am. He has he talks to me virtually almost every day. Okay. He has been there for me in my darkest moments. He has been there for people in chat who are gay who are trans, defending them every single day. He okay. brings me up. He brings me up as someone, for example, who knows Greek and Hebrew to argue with actual homophobes about why the Bible does not say things about gay people. And I have argued with people that has said some of the most vile stuff that I've ever heard. Okay. Now, does that wound me as a bisexual man? Kind of, right? But I move past it because I know that what I'm doing is I'm spreading knowledge, I'm spreading uh, good information that will convince people because I have met people in Parker's chat who have been convinced otherwise by him. People who thought being gay was immoral who now do not think so. We are changing viewpoints here. Not me, okay? Not me. Parker is changing viewpoints here. Do no, no, that, not, right? that absolutely has. No. Yeah, okay. I, I, I do think, and, I do think that we are changing viewpoints like oh, a lot. Yeah. Like okay, you're I've seen changing viewpoints. Yeah, yes, yeah. We, we want yes. people to change. Yes. I have been with Parker. I have Parker can uh, can verify this. I've been with him for over a year and a half now. I have I started watching him when he was making no money. He had like thirty subscribers. It was small. Okay. I was I'm the guy who you're talking about who gave him money. You know how much money I have gifted to Parker over the last year and a half? Why do I do that? It's because I'm not poor. That's and what I'm asking. Is why? I, I make Let's money. Right I know. Because I am a faculty librarian. I make money. Okay? That's great. The one thing that makes me happy is gifting money to people who are yeah. doing good in this world. He is doing good in this world. Now, yes. Now, now Anthony, he is a 21-year-old 20 year man. He should not have to donate to charity. He has concerns that he has to – because he has to pay for his own housing. He has to pay for college. So do I. He has to live. Yes, but, but simply because he's not donating to charity so, does not mean that he's doing something wait, wrong. Okay, one thing, one thing I do want to say is that I, it's not okay. like that I would never want to engage with charity in my life. 
It's that I want to establish like investments, things that I built up throughout the context of my life, be able to expand my, my basis, my stability, then be able to like grant that towards other people, right? I would then like limit the context of the exponential growth or the compound wealth that I could then use towards other people in the future, right? So I do think that there is also something that can be bad with just like say, I'm going to give this away right away, right? As I could, I could use this money to compound it and then be able to give more in the future, right? At significantly higher rates. Right. So it's not it's not like I'm not going to at any point. Um, and, and the thing is, it might seem concerning to someone who is on the other side. But as an individual, at least internally speaking, I know that I'm going to do that. So I don't necessarily need to feel validated in someone else thinking that I'm doing it right now, as I know I'm going to be doing that in the future. So what you have for breakfast this morning? I don't, I don't eat breakfast. I'm sorry. Okay. I just wanted to get for my uh, story, too. No, Anthony, don't. No, look. Oh, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll we'll go to we'll go to Jerry right after this. What'd you say, um, Anthony? What'd you have for lunch? What's what? What's your uh, daily meal intake look like? Uh, this is like a really weird question for you to ask no, me. Anthony, Ooh, Anthony, really. Anthony I, no, Anthony, Anthony, no, Anthony. I'm going to say actually kind of is. No, uh, I'm you going probably to, don't know the context, uh, no, but Parker, I'm going I'm gonna step in here. There's an issue, okay, that you are not privy to. Don't ask this question. Why? No, no, we don't, we don't have to respond to it that way. I just, um, so, uh, I have eating issues, like appetite issues. I don't eat like breakfast or lunch. I eat one meal a day, like later yeah, on in the day. I feel that. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I, I have no appetite for most of the day um, okay. and stuff like that. So it's just like um, really okay, weird then. answering questions like that, but Barker's no. being really kind to you by answering yeah, questions. He's being that kind. He, he have should not have to answer that question. He shouldn't have okay, to answer so, the question. Okay. Because where as soon as your, he saw, where do you, as soon as where do you he saw put that your, he was where do you put your, should... where do you put your investments? What are your investments? What do you do with? Oh, I haven't, you... I haven't set up any investments yet. I'm talking about setting up investments for like the future, and I'm still doing stuff like that. No, but, but the point I is, is I have to be able what's to. What's your future plan? What's your five-year plan? Ten-year plan? Twenty-year plan? I don't have a complete setup five-year, ten-year, and twenty-year plan yet. But okay, so that's. I mean, look, you can have a job. That's great. But here's the thing: like, wait, Anthony, as a money. twenty-one year old, did you have yeah, a five, ten year, twenty year plan? So yeah, yeah. You had a, you had a five year, ten year, twenty year plan as a twenty one. Oh year old. yeah, and a lot of them failed. Yeah. Okay, but like, I mean, I, I don't think that you should expect every single individual who's that age to have that long of a plan set up for the I'm, future, no, especially no, one that's I just like. I want to know why he has to have it. No, I'm just no, asking. No, no, I want to know why he has to have it. Are you saying that him making the amount of money that he makes I never on TikTok? Said that. No, I never no, said that I, no, I, no, because you're implying. What I'm saying is that no, it would be a very good idea to do that. No, well, no. Well, because, I mean, I probably well, agree with you, yeah. Well, but but even if he doesn't, there's nothing wrong with him keeping the money. We are giving Absolutely. him people. People are giving wanted. him money because we enjoy his content, and he does topics that are that are no relation to my life, that have no relation whatsoever to me, and I still give him money. Why? Because he's promoting things that are good in the world, so he deserves to make money off it. I don't give my money to just anybody. I give my money to people who are actually doing good in this world. There are millions, or not millions. There are many content creators on this account that do similar topics who I don't give money to. He has actually done something in a productive way to be able to change things. So my question is, is why is it such a concern what he does with his money? Why is that your know. concern? Let's ask, let's ask everybody in the comments. Let's see what they have to say, because here's the thing. You guys are all doing the same thing. You're doing the same thing, Matt, every, right, Matt? No, yes, Rock and yeah, no, no, Matt, Matt. Matt. Everybody here, here. I want Anthony to, to, to address this real quick, and then I want Jerry to be able to speak his mind yeah. as well. Yeah, sorry, Jerry. I didn't mean. Yeah, no worries. Sorry. It's not the money. That's all. Like, go. Ahead. Jerry, uh, go ahead. And, right, Jerry, you're Jerry, up. Jerry, yeah. Go ahead and say your piece. Um, no, I was just gonna say I've been watching Parker for a while now, and um, before before going into TikTok and getting into all these debates and, and uh, just like <clears throat> living my normal life as a gay person, I was always scared to talk to anyone about anything gay just because I've had that fear and that stigma that someone could hurt me because, you know, I didn't, I didn't know what to say about the whole religious thing about, you know, how it being evil and demonized and, and, and all these things. But I'm sorry, I'm so emotional right now because Parker, you've like helped me so much. Like just being able to to give these people the reasons and and the information that now I, I have because of listening to your lives 
being able to be competent enough to talk to them and let them know, you know, these are the reasons why it's okay, even though I know it's okay, because I knew, I knew I was gay before, before knowing what gay was. I was, I, I knew I was attracted to boys since I was four years old. No one had indoctrinated me. No one had shown me what gay was. No one, no one ever told me that you could like boys or girls. Uh, I was just always shown, you know, like uh, being with a girl, boy, that's, that was okay. Um, so I grew up, I grew up scared, you know, my whole life because of bigots and, and people who just aren't familiar with, uh, the LGBT community, LGBT community and, um, part, you know, seeing Parker's lives gave me the confidence to just walk around and keep my head held high and knowing that, I, you know, just, I, I know now what to tell them and I know what to say and. And I'm um, sorry, Parker, just, I'm getting emotional, a little bit teary-eyed, just because you've helped me out so much, you have no idea. And the reason why I donate to him is so he can stay up here and help someone like me. Other people need his help, because if, if he doesn't do it, who else is going to do it? We need people like Parker. And I just want to say thank you, Parker, because you actually don't know how much you've impacted my life. That's all. Yeah, and Jared, I want to talk to you off this. I don't want to like, I, I feel really un, like, I'm going to be totally honest. I feel really uncomfortable like addressing stuff like this because I don't want to like come off as like disingenuous, but like it really does like, like, like touch, touch my heart to like the fact that I can like actually do something that can like positively impact other people's lives, right? Like is like such a great thing. It's like, I, I, I want to just like be able to like say that like I wouldn't be able to do stuff like this if it wasn't for literally everyone else engaging as well. Like, like this isn't just like a sort of me sort of thing. This is like a like we what we've done is like a community. What we've built up. Yeah, so like, and by the way, Parker is entirely grateful off live to his friends, people that to all this chat, people like, that I, help him. I, I, know, I he, feel so uncomfortable. I don't. No, I like. I, I mean, know, I, know, like, I, know, I feel I like you can you know. can say these things to like Anthony off live if you if you would want to like address these. Like I, I I feel like it's like I don't know. I, I feel like uncomfortable like saying stuff like okay, that like right. on live in front of so many all people. Right. No, no. I just wanted to say thank you, Parker. And if you're, I'm, I live here in LA too. I have a, I have a small business here in LA. If you ever need anything, hey, I'm always here. <laughs> no, for sure, for sure. Let me know. I'd love to. I'd love to do some do some stuff with you if you if it's like associated with things that we could do on the live. For sure. Thank right. you, thank you, Parker. Um, I'm gonna, I don't know how to step off. This is my first time going live. Uh, now go ahead, Anthony. Is, okay. I just want to ask: Is it fair to put labels on people? Like in what connotation? Uh, I don't know what else to say. I, I'm not, I don't know what connotation even means. Oh, like it depends like what on the label. There are some labels that you can apply to people that could be bad or like derogatory or hateful, right? And some labels that are, that could be okay and could make sense. And what are those examples? Of like derogatory labels? Yeah. Like slurs? Like a uh, bigot maybe? No, like referring to someone with a slur, like calling someone like uh, a bigot, like, right? Yeah, someone who's a bigot using a slur towards someone, yeah. Okay, so that that's a label on someone, right? Yeah, bigot is a label. It's also a label for someone to, like, someone who calls someone a slur and labels them as that slur. But two wrongs don't make a right, right? Well, I never said two wrongs make a right. But if... They don't make a right believe, now. If you don't want someone to be calling you that... Then why would you want some? Why would you do the same to someone else? Just just because they said it, it doesn't matter. Like you don't know who they are, and then it just I'm people confused. look at me. People look at me and they think that I'm a bigot. And the only thing is that I'm the one that cares so much more about them. So it, do you think bigot, bigot is a slur? All right. The is it okay to put so labels? Much. Is it okay to put labels on people, yes or no? It depends on the label. Uh, yes or no? It's not a yes or no question. Okay, well, I'm going to head out. Thank you for your, uh, your time. I don't know how to get out of here. You don't want to answer my question. I don't know. I'll answer your question. I got no, I got no I, 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 I mean, I answered it. The answer is yes. 
No, the answer is yes. If someone is a homophobe, I'm going to call them a homophobe. If someone's a transphobe, I'm going to call them a transphobe. You know why? Because I judge them by their words and by their actions. We have Yeah, those labels are good life. to me, but other we, labels can we, be thought. We have people who have come on this live who have advocated for the unaliving of gay people and trans people. And guess what? I do think they are bigots. I do think they are transphobes. I think they are homophobes. I think they are pieces of... Yes, I oh. think they are okay. the scum of the earth. And yes, and, and I tell that to their face. I got, yeah. I got no qualms about that. And my grandpa has said some really nasty things, but I'm not going to go and call him like a terrible oh, person. Oh, hell, are you kidding? I've called my grandfather uh, before he died. Mostly. You know why? Because he openly used the N-word. Well, that, you, that's, you, look. You, you, you think I'm going to be silent all night? You think I'm like, oh, oh, he's my Yeah, grandpa. you should no, call I'm, stuff out No, like that. I'm going to say, hey, I, mean, I, I called him a racist bastard. Because guess what? He was a racist bastard. All right. I, why do I no? The, the problem Thank is you. why do I why do I have to be nice? Thank you. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna head out of here. Thank you guys. Okay. Well then, the, the, okay. Fine. Then I'll I'll, I'll let you head, head out. But I'm gonna say the last <laughs> thing. Of, of Parker, let him go. I'm gonna say the last <laughs> thing and, and then I'll drop you too, because funny. Anthony. Okay, he muted. I don't know. I have been the nice person all of my life. I've been the person that has been too nice. Okay. I'm the person that people say Feel I'm bad. too nice for people, okay? And I'm fucking tired of being nice to people that don't give it back, okay? So I am nice to people that are nice to me. I'm nice to people that deserve my niceness. If you are a piece of crap, especially to, to a marginalized community, you're not going to get the nice map. And so I don't know I, – I, I don't really know what else to tell you, Anthony, other than you came on this live to literally denigrate Parker for, the, for his job. This is his job, okay? I'm a librarian. You, you're not going to chastise me because I'm because I'm reading books all day and everything, and I'm working with data, and I and, and I got donated to you know uh, the uh, uh, Trevor Project, right? It makes no it makes no sense. Jerry, as a gay man, does not have to donate to a to a to a charity if he doesn't want to when he's working his job. No one is obligated to do that, okay? Parker says he's going to do it, and guess what? I've known Parker long enough that. That I fucking believe him. He's going to do it. Okay? He's a 21-year-old man. Let him live a little bit. For, I mean, for God's sake, right? Let him build up an egg nest because God knows if, if I was 21, I want an egg nest. You know, I, I want a nice thing you know, for my future and everything. So let him build it up. Let people gift him. Let people give him Vidmos. Let him have some fun as a 21-year-old. And then when he's 30, he can then do his do adult things. You know, I mean, I mean... <laughs> I'm I'm upset not because I'm upset because he came on the live solely to bring you down for simply doing what you love to do and for people loving you and loving what you do and that pisses me off because you have done nothing wrong you have done nothing wrong you have not there is nothing in your life because like, because like I said I've been watching for a year and a half there is nothing that you've said that has denigrated or brought down the LGBT community nothing oh, oh nice. See, and that right there is a prime example. That right there is a prime example. Bro, what is that? <laughs> the the Sam, Sam the Whale, whale. Alakai. Yeah. Holy shit. That right there is a prime example. Bro, that is wild. The Sam the Whale, I've never seen that one. Holy crap. Yeah, there's, there's a bunch there. of new ones. Yeah, yeah there, they are, there's, there's a, a bunch of new ones. Thing. That was fucking wild. Oh, oh, people. <laughs> that is a somebody, wild gift. Yeah. Okay, somebody watching this. I, I, you'll make me so happy. One more person sub, please. I, one more sub. Oh, is it 1,300? Oh, my God. Come on, like, people. One more sub. Yes, are. there it is. Julie, I appreciate is that the it? Is that it? Is that well. it? Yes, that's it. 1,300. That's it. Dude, that's fucking wild. That is wild. <laughs> Do the dance. 1,300 subs. 1,300 subs. 1,300 subs. Thank you, Ashley. Oh, I appreciate the description as well. Thank you very much. 1,301. There you yeah, go. No, it, it is absolutely wild. Like I, like I, I don't want, I don't want, like, like, like I don't want to take all the credit because, like, the, like the thing is, the chat, like everyone being here every single day. I appreciate the subscription. Thank you so much. Like the whole community. That's it's it's not just about right. Like there's just so many different things that come together. Thank you for this one. Thank you for the, the subscriptions. I appreciate it. Thank you all so much. I literally couldn't. Like I just love the sense of community because, like, I don't know. I I don't want to. I don't. I don't want to like just take over the live and say this, but Gabriel, I appreciate the subscription. I don't know if ever everyone else has been the same, but like feeling like isolated from people, like throughout like your entire life, being like extremely introverted. I appreciate the subscription. Thank you so much. Not having like a sense of community, Daniel. I appreciate the subscription. Thank you for the swan as well. I appreciate it, Tank. 
it's like really crazy to have such a sense of community at literally any point in time, right? It like, it gives me such a great feeling. Like, and it's actually helped me through some of my hardest times. I appreciate the subscription, like going through like an insane breakup. Uh, I appreciate the su subscription. Thank you so much. Like a few, like, like multiple months back again, I appreciate the subscription. Thank you all so much, everyone. Thank you for all the hand hearts and gifts and stuff. Like, uh, this is one of the things that kept me level headed, kept me going forward, gave me some type of meaning and purpose so that I didn't like everything didn't fall through. Like I can see so easily. I appreciate the subscription. Thank you for the gifts, the, the, the autumn leaves, like easily how people can like fall through the cracks and like lose that sense of, but like, I've had so many people around me, let alone my family, people like Matt, AJ, right? The people in the chat all the time, people like Dean, all those people have been there for me all the time. So I just like, it's like, I want to be, I want to show like how grateful I am of everyone. Cause like, I really, I, it's, it's not something I deserve, right? I really don't think I deserve that much. I really don't. So like everything that everyone else gives me to be able to build myself up, I want to be able to like give that to other people too, right? Because I have the ability to do that. Like kind of like the sense of like a, once you already have your oxygen mask on, like you can give it to other people, right? And I just think it's so important to be able to do that. So that's that's literally why I come on here all the time, every single day. Like I couldn't I couldn't be on here for fucking six, ten hours every single day. I would get like so bored. I'm like so addicted to doing this because I think it does so much good. Like I'm so addicted, chat. Like I don't think I could explain it to y'all. Like it's all I, like all I think about all the time. Like if I can't go live, if I get banana, like what happened earlier, I'm immediately fucking like terrified. I'm down. Like Matt can attest to this. I appreciate. I can it. attest to it. Like every I've single had, time. We've had we've had two long long FaceTimes about 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 that fear. So yeah, uh, don't worry. Yeah. Yeah, I like it's you. it's so you. bad. But everyone, I appreciate all the subscriptions. I really I really do. Everyone, thank okay. y'all so much. Like I really sorry, just to, 13, just to let everyone else know. Jerry. Sorry. Uh, you know what else makes you a really really good person is that you're a really really good friend. You're you like the way that you supported Dean, the way you supported Matt, the way you supported Tommy, you support literally everyone on here when you don't have to. And even if this, this is a business to you or not, like me having my own business, I've seen so many other people within my business take people down because they didn't want them to come up the way that they're that, that they're coming up. But you you're not like that. That's what makes you a really, really good person. You help everyone around you, even if it's not our community, you help everyone else around you come up. I mean, look at Dean, look how well he's doing now. Look at Matt. Matt's a great, I mean, just amazing. Uh, I'm not sure. yeah. You're a really, I, really, really, yeah. really good person. And I, I think, I mean, yeah. I, 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 I just, cause it's like that. community is so great. I appreciate the Madison. Thank you so much. Like, like I know what it's like to have a lack of sense of community. I appreciate the meteor. Thank you so much. Lack of an ability to be able to reach people. And I think it's so important to like build up that sense of community so that people feel like they, like they fit, they fit in. Right. Cause like, fuck, I know what it's like to not fit in. I know what it's like to, to, to be in high school and be sitting alone at a table. No one else sits around you. There's no one else there. You're just by yourself. Right. I know what it's like to have that, to have a complete lack of community. Uh, and like, I don't want anyone else to feel like that. And like having like platforms on the internet where people can like do stuff like this is just so fucking important to me. I just got your subscription yeah. and that, that's, I mean, why, that's and, why I like love this stuff like discord and other stuff like that. Like, even though I, 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 I don't keep be... up with it enough as I want to. No, buddy to Parker. I love that one. I love that one. Wow. Zeus, I love that one. That's amazing. Fucking Zeus. That is man. actually my favorite animation. I fucking yeah, love that, that one. And that awesome. Absol absolutely, absolutely fucking crazy. Alakai. W. Oh my God. Wow. Alakai out so here with crazy. the money. Alakai literally going crazy with the gifts. Yeah. Today. Alakai, that man. That was fucking insane. Alakai, yeah. I appreciate that so w. much. W. That is so fucking crazy. So I really I'm, appreciate that. I'm going to sit down just because I closed my store for a little while. Oh, no, I get uh, okay, okay, bye, Jerry. Thanks for being here. I appreciate it so much, Jerry. Thank you so much. And I'm going to say one last thing and then I'll drop down too. Bye, Jerry. Uh, I'm going right. to say one last thing, and then, and then I'll drop down, too. I was not being too hard. I was not trying to be too hard on Anthony because I think there's some issues there that we could work through and talk about because uh, because he sees this live. There's something about this live that I think triggered him, and I want to know what that is, and we didn't explore that, and so I want to know what that is. Yeah, because, I think it's important to know that so that I can like do stuff to be able yes, to like, because help with some, that. Because, you know? as, because there are many, many, many gay people in this live that are not triggered by this, and so something triggered it for him, which means that we need to work on it because something needs to be treated you know so you know because there are because I, and i won't say too much about it but like there's one of parker's lives that does trigger me a little bit and what i do is i just don't watch it you know i i just kind of scroll off a little bit i'm not going to say parker how dare you you know i'm not going to do that i'm not, i'm gonna you know 
it's my own issue and I'm going to work on it. And so we can move on from that and everything. And I, I think that if anybody is having that same feeling, I think try to look at the good of it. You know, yes, Parker's making bank on this. You know, he's making good money here because I mean, I mean, tonight, look at tonight, but that's definitely, okay. definitely not as much as Dean. I know, I know, but that doesn't matter. I mean, you know, it, no, I, think, I, was, I was just making a joke. I was just making a joke. Oh uh, yeah, okay. I mean, I mean, so, he does he does make way more than me though. Dean Dean yeah. goes fucking crazy for some reason. For real? Yeah, yeah, chat. Yeah. Yeah, I mean those. Yeah, those gifts. I mean, yeah. If any, yeah, okay. But let's just say, Anthony, I'm sorry that it triggered you. If you're still here, I didn't. Um, that. Like we, actually though, like you if you want to contact us off live and whatnot, like my DMs are open on TikTok, on on Instagram. I'll try to look through them if I do see that. Yeah. Like I actually do want to address stuff like this because I want to make sure that my platform, um, like, isn't going to hurt people as much. I want to reduce the amount of hurt that there is in society. I don't want to add to that. Purchase subscription. Literally anything I can do to help reduce that is something I want to like focus on and do. Mm. So like that's like why it's really important to me. That's why like also I think it's important to like address these types of things. Like when people come up with the, these types of concerns, I want to be able to like ground myself. I want to be able to address the concerns because if I don't address the concerns, I'm never going to progress. I'm never going to hold myself accountable. Well, I don't even know what the concern was other than that you don't donate to charity yet. I mean, unless the only, time, the only way for me to fix that is for me to tell you to donate to charity. But again, yeah. millions, most people don't donate to charity. Most people don't. And that doesn't make them bad people. You know, so there's nothing, you know, and... No, I, I, like, I, I want to do this outside of the context. I mean, if, even if I donate to charity, I'm not going to like, I'm not going to go on TikTok and be like, yeah, I just donated this percentage of my income to yeah, this I know. particular, I like, I'm not, that's, that's just not how I'm going to do it. Well, yeah, because, because um, you don't, yeah, because most people, because most people, if they're donating, they do it silently. They do it anonymously because they're not in it for the, 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 the cloud. They're in it because they want to help out people. I, I actually I do think there is somewhat of a place for like showing people like different types of ways of charity I appreciate that mustache thank you oh, so yeah. much like, I mean, you tell kind of like say, hey I am donating like 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 I would say like for example like like when I say that like, like I Mr. donate Beast. to the Trevor oh like, yeah like Mr. Beast for example right like and there's a sense in which he shows he shows millions of people giving to people right which yeah. I mean showing actions of like doing good things like that is actually a good thing because then it can reproduce people to be more likely to do that in the future right and be yeah. more likely to emulate those things so although there can be people that will like exploit this and will like use this for views and money and they don't really care about the people it's still necessarily something that's producing okay. something Parker, then good in certain respects can i give one suggestion then yeah go ahead go ahead okay not this year, but let's say next year as, a, as like a New Year's resolution type of thing. Why don't for one day of the month, one day of each month, you know how like each month they have like African American History Month, they have Pride Month like that. Why don't you pick one? We do like a dono day. Yes. Right? yes We're all exactly. donations, 100% so, yes, of proceeds. Yes. Everything right. you make like, in, during like, that one day goes to a specific charity. So, like for example, you could during yeah, Pride Month idea. donate all of it to the uh, Trevor Project. I love yeah, it. Yeah, like we can we can have the the subs the subs pick which place we should. Yes, do it to. yes, that's a great one. And that the same thing for African idea. American history. Same thing for uh, Native American history. If if people are concerned about you not doing charity, let that the chat and, and let the community help you. And, and, and you can pick and one day. we can like day. do this together, yeah. Yes, one day, and then you say, hey, whatever I make, because, and then you can uh, just uh, wait for your withdrawal, and you can do what you need to do, and then you can show the people that you did it, and that's one day a month. So that means in one year, you'll donate to 12 charities. That's amazing. I mean, I mean, yeah, that actually already. is really good. That is a, that is so, a fantastic idea. That is yeah, a fantastic so idea. Starting, so starting next year in January, I don't know what January is. I'm sure it's some kind of month. On January 10th or something, we'll do one big live where it could be a fun live. It could be a live about, um, about anything. It could be a serious. It doesn't matter. We could do a big live for like eight hours or you know eight or ten hours where people donate as much as they want or as much as they can. And then, you, and then the chat. That is a stuff, great – that's such pick, a great idea. Yeah, and so and then that will get people off your case about not doing the trade. You can say, "Hey, I, I, don't, I don't care about donate. people being off my case on that." Actually, I want people to like hold me accountable well, yeah, and stuff but, like that. No, yeah, yeah. I actually, but, I actually, that's why, that's why I address say, this because I actually, I actually do want to address that because like 
I think I think it's good to do stuff like that. And this is a fucking fantastic idea. So the fact that this was even brought up in the live spawned this is like an idea for us. I like yeah. I, that's why yeah. I'm thankful for yes. stuff like that. Yes. Even yeah. for people I think, like yeah, I think it, it's, no matter how people come yeah. up, I think it's good to question. Yeah, I, I, I think, think that's good. And, and and I'll look at the calendar and see what each month is. And we can plan it out and because, because that'd be fun. I think that'd be fun. I mean, you know, to actually do that. You know, it'd be very interactive and everything. It'd be fun. And so let's go forward with it. So um yeah, so, oh, by the way, and then I'm going to drop down, because I, I want you to, do, um, how long are you going to be on? Um, probably, probably, uh, maybe like one or two more people on. I, I'm okay. kind of hit the ending uh, of my, my live anyway. Yeah, that, that's right. I was thinking, I was thinking, I was thinking yeah. of getting off here pretty soon, because, I mean, I have class at 7 o'clock, so. But, well, with that I knew, and I knew that you wanted to, like, rest like a little, a little bit. Like, take a little rest yeah, time. Take, yeah, take a little yeah. break and everything, yeah, okay. Well, I'm going to hop off, with, but one thing I want to say is because, Yes, people, if people that don't know, I am seeing a therapist because therapy is good. So people see a therapist if you need one. But um, but one thing that people that want me to say is to uh, be happy about something. And so I'm going to show people this. People haven't seen it. But I am officially now almost 35 pounds down. So this is the shirt. This is my shirt that I wear. Okay, this is my shirt that I wear. Well, actually, hold on. I'm going to show something. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. Hey, we need W's in the chat, Matt. We need we need okay, W Matt's in the w's, chat. W's, okay. Some Watts in the chat. People, Watts in the chat. People don't people haven't seen this yet, but I, I want to bring this up because I think it's important. Okay, this shirt is a shirt that Parker you, you probably remember, right? This okay. Yep. yep. So I, I'm gonna show a picture real quick, and I don't it, this doesn't bother me, but I want you to see it. I want people to see it because then you'll know what what difference is. This is me on my birthday in L.A. when I came and visited Parker. This is me, and this is what I looked like, okay? And I, and I want you to see the difference, okay? So this is me at, at Disneyland. Let me find one that's actually good. Um, okay, here we go. All right, here we go. So I'm going to show you, and then I'm going to show you. So this is me at Disneyland on this date. So I'm going to turn around here. All right, and same shirt. Okay, so I don't know if you can see that. Same shirt, okay? Can you see that? I don't, can you see yeah, that? we do see. We do see. Okay, so there's that right there, and now there is this, and now there is this, and now there's this. Same shirt. So w same mats shirt. in the chat. W mats so, in the chat. That's why I want to see. Sure? I want to see the entire fucking chat spam. Oh, I, I think that. it's backwards. Is it backwards? Yeah, I think it's backwards. But it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, but like, someone said that in the chat. I was like, Matt, yeah, is it backwards. on backwards? Yeah, it's I on backwards. Okay. Don't worry. Okay. There we go. Now, you, now you can really see it. Yeah. Let's go, Matt. So w really Matt in the comment so, section. Let's so fucking go, chat. Next week, I think next week I will officially hit the mark of thirty-five pounds down. So. It's slow, but it's going. So one day I'll be as skinny as Parker, and you know everything will be good. There. <laughs> I don't know about that. I'm pretty skinny. <laughs> Did you remember the guy that came on earlier that was like that was like calling me really skinny? I, I can't remember. What yeah. Was saying oh wait, really... is there something off my fucking face? What's wrong? Oh, there we go. Okay. I, like, I, I, I had like a baby face for a second there. It's like what the hell? Oh, I think um, you had a filter on. I was wondering why. Oh, it, like, did I? Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. Did I turn it off? Good. Oh, yeah, you I, did I was, turn like, it I was off. like, wait, what the fuck? I thought I thought I had a baby. Okay. All right. Well. That's all I want to show people. So thank you, everybody. So appreciate uh, Parker, it, Matt. Of course, man. You know we love you, bro. So just you yeah, know, appreciate it, man. Be you know, be happy and everything. So I'll I'll talk to you later. Okay, dude. Appreciate so, it, bro. Appreciate it, man. Bye, appreciate dude. it. Have a good day, bro. W's for Matt in the chat, everyone. I want to see some W mats all over the chat, all over the chat, everyone. Should we do one more for today, or should we just call it day, call it quits for today, everyone? What do y'all think? What do y'all think? What do y'all think, everyone? That. Yeah, today's been absolutely wild, everyone. I appreciate it, everyone. I think we only got five hours today, everyone. Yeah, sadly, we only got five hours today, I think. Because there was like halfway between, there was like a, there was a thing, there was a cutoff. I appreciate the hand art. Thank you so much. But one more, one more. We could do one more. I'm down to do one more. Call it a, half the people are saying call it, half the people are saying one more. One more, sure. One more. Um, yeah, okay. One, a lot of... One more, one more. You know what? Actually, chat. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it for today. I, I apologize, everyone. I am just gonna call it. I am just gonna call it. I normally would k k continue to go on. We're gonna end with a positive vibe. I think, I think that's a, that's definitely a better thing to do today. Okay. We're gonna end with a positive vibe. I do appreciate everyone coming on today. Actually, everyone, what we're gonna do 
is we're gonna go over to my second account and we're just gonna talk to chat. We're just gonna chill before I go to my class. Thank you for the sunglasses, I appreciate it. Okay, are y'all are y'all down with that? And with some good energy, go to my second account. Appreciate the hand arts, thank you so much. What do y'all think about that? We're gonna look up Parker Get a Bible. Okay, everyone, we're gonna go there. We're just gonna chill with chat. All right, everyone, I'm gonna open up the open up the the the, the box. I mean the the guests. I mean the chat before I get off. But we're gonna go over to the my uh, to the, to the second account, everyone. Parker, get a Bible. You can look it up right now. I just want to say I appreciate it. I appreciate it so much, Alakai. Thank you so much. That was absolutely wild. I really appreciate all the gifts. That was so so crazy. We're gonna go over to my second account. Everyone, go raid my second account. Parker, get a Bible. I'll be there very soon. In like literally like what, like two, like a minute or two. Okay. See y'all then. In a